Hi guys, what's up? Mm. So, welcome, thank you all for coming. I am going to be trying to make cake pops. Um, I've never, ever, ever, ever made one before. I've actually never eaten one before. Um, I'm going to be kind of rushing real quick at the beginning to try and get the cake in the oven because as far as I know, I should probably let it cool once it's baked before I like go stabbing it and like digging my hands into it and stuff. So I'm going to just like, here, I'm going to rinse this out because I haven't used it in a little bit and it's got like ash in it. I don't remember having a fire, but I must have burned something. <laughs> but yeah, once we get the cake in the oven, um, then I'm going to, I can show you like my cool kit that I got. I got like a kit thing. Uh, we can chat and catch up. We can talk about weekend stuff. We can, ugh. What on earth did I burn? <laughs> I swore I cleaned this really, really recently. I can't beat the ground type Lady Hapu. Pokemon, um, have gotten progress like the, the main, the mainline Pokemon games have gotten progressively more difficult in more recent time, like X, or not X, but Sun and Moon actually were a real challenge, um, depending on how you built your team. Um, and I actually really like that. I really like that. Like the older, the older games, they're fun, but it's such a stomp through that it doesn't really matter what Pokemon you pick. So I feel like your choices are more meaningful in the newer ones because of, um, because you know, you actually need to use them. <laughs> are we trying to make K-pops? <laughs> I was actually considering making that joke on, um, on the vlog, but then I didn't. <laughs> oh man. Although K-pops been not letting me down, but it's, it's been a dry couple of weeks. We got some stuff yesterday that I haven't really dug into yet. I, I, I watched the two new winter MVs, and I think they were cool. They were fine. But, you know, before that, I'd just been listening to Akimu's Dinosaur on repeat for, like, ages. You bought the new Starlight Mountain Pet combo? Same! <laughs> I, was, I, I was, like, looking at it, and I was like, man, I shouldn't. And I was like, well, I could make a video. Does that, does that, does that justify it? And I decided, yes, it does, so I bought it. <laughs> so, um, I am going to... Oh, gosh! Hopefully not disappoint too many people, but we're using a box mix cake for this. I feel like more of the artistry of cake pops is less of the making of the actual cake part, more of like the making it, you know, take form into a pop form. So I'm just going to go ahead and get this started. And we just need to beat water, oil, eggs, you know, you know, the whole, the whole nine yards here. I actually already preheated my oven. Oh gosh. So I'm ready to go there. I have not finished my breakfast tea yet. I don't know if this will fit around my microphone. Oh, I, I reheated that and it's hot now. I might make a different tea in a smaller cup. <laughs> but I needed I needed the strong stuff this morning for me to actually get up and do stuff on a Saturday morning. I stayed up a little bit late last night. So what am I doing right now? I'm getting one cup of water, oil, three eggs. Three eggs. I think I have eggs. It would be really upsetting if I didn't. <laughs> All right. See if I can actually crack eggs without ruining everything. What is my favorite Pokemon? Oh my gosh, that is actually such a hard question. It's one of those things, like, when people ask me my favorite battle pet, I swear the answer changes every time. Um, I really like the Chikorita. Um, Gen 2 Grass Starter. Chikorita is adorable, and I think I will always be faithful to that one. Good morning, Hazel. Good morning, Kim. How are you doing? Okay. So, I figure if... These aren't technically a WoW recipe, but they were just... I, you know, if we only do wow recipes and we do them twice a month, we're going to run out. So we're sprinkling in some other stuff. Um, speaking of sprinkles, I got those too. But, uh, you know, if we really want to make them kind of wow-ish, we can call them... I was thinking of, like, if you were going to call Cake Pops a wow name, what you would call them. And I feel like they would be Silver Moon Cake Pops. Because Blood Elves are the race that I think is most likely to put Starbucks into their cities, you know? So... I was actually at a Starbucks a week or two ago, and they had cake pops there, and I was there for like a snack or something, or we were, we were traveling, and we were going to pick up some food as well as coffee, and, uh, and I was looking at the cake pop, and I was like, you know what, because I, I already knew I was going to do the stream, I was like, you know, I should really try that, so I know what to expect, you know, do a little bit of research. I didn't, I didn't, I always end up getting that, like, overpriced, but still reasonably good, um, tomato, mozzarella, 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 um, pesto panini thing um and it's fine it's fine it's like it's food it doesn't make me sick so it's about all i can ask from take it uh can you make a wow themed cake pop with the frosting i think you're overestimating my skills um i can we'll see what we can do when we get to the decorating stage i'm also not sure how um what our time frames are going to be like and i need to throw some eggs in here for 
decorating, because obviously we got to bake the cake, and that's going to be like half an hour. And then the cake needs to cool a little bit. We need to like mix in some icing or whatever. And then we need to mix the cake up with the icing into the balls and like, oops, I dropped an eggshell. Come back. Come back. And get those like frozen onto the sticks. And then you need to like, there's like a couple of stages of freezing. And <laughs> I'm concerned that I might ruin it. Like I kind of ruined the pie thing because I rushed one of the steps because I was on stream. All right, so that needs to mix for like two minutes. So I'm just going to go ahead and turn this on. I hope it is not too loud. And it, it never really is. I'm always worried about it being too loud. And then I go and watch the VOD later, and it's fine. It's just really loud to me because that is a very loud mixer. But I'm not going to complain because it is the best mixer in the whole world. And I have one. Uh, Hazel, do you like Blobfish? Is that a Pokemon? Did I miss that? This might sound weird, but I like Quillfish. You know, Quillfish is all right. You want Starbucks now? You can, you can just, just, just bring Starbucks into your home. That's what we're doing today. We're having like tea and cake pops. We don't have to go anywhere. Oh, so um, can I drink this? I love these Murloc mugs, but the shape of them, they're kind of, it's hard to show you, but they're kind of a rounded rectangle shape. And it's odd to drink out of. I always try and drink out of the corner but it doesn't always work out. Uh, baking in this weather, that's why we're up in the morning. Um, and if I like ruin, oh, I was gonna set a timer. Let's do another minute of that. Let's, we're doing this in the morning and if I ruin the overall ambient temperature of my house, then we're just gonna like put on all the ACs and go somewhere. Um, although we would be taking our dog with us. So it's not like we can go anywhere air conditioned anyways, unless we find like a Home Depot or some other retail establishment with air conditioning that allows pets. We just wander around there for like three hours. Not too loud. Cool. Hi, Hazel. Sub Electric Beast. I love your mug. It's amazing. I end up getting a second one over here so I can like dual fist Murloc mugs. Um, and I very much enjoy making like matching uh, chai lattes in these for me and me and my dude over there. But again, they're kind of hard to drink out of. Um, that's a Murloc. It is a Murloc. You can get these on the gear store. At least you were able to. They keep taking stuff off the gear store, so I never know what's going to still be there. You had a white tea drink from Starbucks, but they had lemonade to it, and the lemonade flower overpowers the white tea. I have completely given up on getting tea from any establishment that is not specifically dedicated to tea. Um, if I'm going to Starbucks, even though I don't really like coffee, I'll just get a coffee. I'll pick something that obviously has enough sugar and cream in it that it's not even coffee anymore, and that works out for me. So, our cake batter should be mixed up. I'm going to recycle this. Or at least throw it in the vague vicinity of where I put my recycling. I always clean on Saturdays anyway, so I'll fix all this later. Um, it told me to, to grease the pan and then dust it with a light dusting of flour. I think I put in too much flour, but it's really hard to dust with flour. So, we're just going to get this poured in here. And then as soon as the cake is in the oven, and I remember to set a timer. Don't let me forget to set a timer. Um, I will, I will uh, show you guys. All of all of the stuff, all all the cake pop making goodies. Come on, I'm gonna have to get a spoon, aren't I, man? I hate having to do I hate having to do things with more than one hand. I just want to drink my tea. It's only ten o'clock. I mean, it's a perfectly late hour on a Saturday. I've I've been up I've been up for a little bit. I actually set an alarm because I knew I was gonna sleep in. I can't. I keep. I need. You know what I need to do is I need to finish watching Black Mirror so that it, I can like escape the hold that it has over my brain because I can't stop watching them. And every time I watch one, it just has, like, a monopoly on my, like, you know, my, my thought waves for until I've finished processing it, which takes a very long time. <laughs> They're really hard to eat frosting around a mug. Or not frosting, batter, pardon me. Alright, so. Batter. Um, I watched the last episode of season one and the first episode of season two. And without spoiling anything, because if you haven't watched it, you probably should. It's it's an experience, but I feel like I'm better for having watched it. The first episode of season two, I think it was, I cried my eyes out for like 40 of the 45 minutes. Um, and like I, I like I, I started realizing what was going on. I started getting sad. I was like, oh no, I'm just going to be a mess in here. Just like close the door, you know, grab like some tissues and, and just like hug my cat for like 40 minutes. But it was good. It was good. 
All right, I need I need a scraper thing. You know, I've never actually. I guess I can use a wooden spoon. I still don't have one of those rubber things. I've been meaning to order them with like one of my Amazon orders forever, because it's gonna cost me like three dollars, and I can probably spare three dollars to get a spatula. But you know, sometimes you just don't get around to stuff. Um, if I'm looking over here, I do have chat over here, so I can talk to you guys while I scrape. If someone asked you why you main priest, what would you say? I mean, it depends on if they want the short version or the long version. Um, the short version is that I think they're cool. <laughs> And that's just, you know, what I like, you know, it's a wand chooses a wizard kind of situation. The long version is that I've been healing off and on forever, and I was healing through Kata, I was healing as a holy priest through Mop, and then when I went to join the guild that I'm currently in, when it was kind of reformed um, in the beginning of Warlords, like end of Mop beginning of Warlords, um, I was going to be a holy priest, but there was another girl that was going to be a holy priest too, and I'd never played with her before, but from what I've heard from her from the past guild, she was very nice and a very good player, but a little bit of a drama llama. And I just knew going into it that I didn't want to be playing the exact same spec as her. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to be Shadow Priest. And then I did that. And it turns out I really liked it because I'd never given it a chance before. Okay. That needs to go in the oven. And then I can... Okay. All right. So... Come on. I feel like this is not enough cake batter. Did I, did I do something wrong here? I want to, I need to like bang against the counter to like get the bubbles out, but I don't want to make a lot of noise because people get upset when I do that. <laughs> All right. Also, it's like Saturday morning. People might still be sleeping. So let's go ahead and throw that in there. That needs to go for what? 35 minutes? 35. Set timer there. I'm going to try and make sure that I don't have batter on my face. Although that's just, you know, we're baking. It's to be expected. Okay. We look good. Um, is this a wow cake, wow recipe? No. Uh, we're going to make it a wild recipe. I don't know how. <laughs> we're making silver moon cake bobs. Uh, the gear store is down for a few days. <gasps> what does that mean? Are they adding stuff to it? What if they add a twilight plushie? I can't. I can't. I can't do it. My shelf is full and I'm saving money, but oh my gosh, it's so hard. I'm such a sucker for the plushies. Any way to get the coffee in my face full? <laughs> oh man, I love your wavage things, one eye. You have a Pepe plushie from there. He's cute. His legs are clips. I didn't do the Pepe thing because I never really got into the Pepe thing in WoW. Like, I actually still don't have it. Um, all mugs are suitable for coffee. I feel like if you're trying to have coffee at, like, one of the really small, like, the teacups, it might, you might be, like, pouring a lot. Remember to try and avoid buying tea from places that don't specialize in serving tea. I mean, I'm sure some place does it just fine, but I'm just so picky about my tea that if somebody, like... Usually if you get a tea from a place that's like, here, we'll do coffee or tea, they just have a brand of tea and there's like a wall of tea bags there and they'll just like give you hot water, which is just whatever comes out of their hot water tap and they'll throw a tea bag in there and they'll be like, here you go. And they leave the tea bag in. So like either you have to time it yourself and guess when they added it. Um, the water is never the right temperature and it's just, it's just, it's just not, it's just not <laughs> what we're looking for. Um, but if you find like a tea house, like a place that like specializes in tea, um, the Tao of Tea tea shop in Portland. There's actually a couple of locations in there, around there, but oh my goodness, is that stuff good. Uh, you need a timer for everything I cook. I cannot visually tell them food is done, right? Um, I'm exactly the same way. I've found, like, I used to try and, like, I fry an egg almost every morning for breakfast because I find that that's, like, the right amount of protein to make me function for the day. I should wash dishes, huh? Um, and... I've, I think I've finally nailed down how to do it, but even though I've been doing this every day for ages, I still set a timer. I set a timer at like different stages of the process to make sure I do it right. Because, you know, I don't want the entire thing to be cooked solid, but I don't want any of the white to be even remotely runny. And I also don't flip it over. I like doing them sunny side up, so that's it's a, it's, it's a process. Um, the secret to that, by the way, if you wanted to know, is um, putting a lid over the pan um, so the heat kind of reflects down to cook the top without you have actually having to flip it. Sometimes you just want to save the three dollars for some wow stuff. I'm gonna tell the wow amino I'm on that you're live. What is an amino? Is that like a chat thing? I've never heard of that, and I'm surprised because I've heard of most things, or at least I thought it was. Um, hello, what's up, Akito? Uh, I need to catch up here. Uh, as a shadow priest, I want I want to read all the stuff. Do you need any of the tier sets to really do damage? So the new tier set, um, tier twenty. It's good stuff. It's good stuff. It's boring. But what it does is it's like once you get the four piece, the two piece is negligible, but the four piece, once you get that rolling, you um, your void form or your insanity drains slower when you're in void form, which of course lets you get longer void forms, which is all of your damage. So basically what you do is you get that, you run um, Legacy of the Void, you run Mindbender, and then you just kind of live your life um, with the belt if you have it. Um, Mangal's Madness is very, very, very good. 
And once you get to like 20 to 25 stacks, um, 20 if you're nervous, but if you're confident and you know you're not going to have to move a lot, if you can push it to 25, that's perfect. Then you pop your mind bender and then you just like believe in yourself and press your buttons as efficiently as you possibly can. And if you do that and you're really good and you don't have to move a lot, um, especially if you get procs from trinkets like a chrono shard or, you know, you can practice a foods, that's really good too. Um, then you can push your void form to like 45, 50, 55 ish stacks. 55 is like generous, but um, 45 to 50 for sure. Um, assuming that you've got enough haste. And uh, once you get a, you know, 50 stack void form rolling along, even if you're only in single target and you're only hitting one person, that's, that's a lot of damage. That's like all of your damage. And if you can't do that because, you know, your insanity is draining too quickly and you're just out of it, you're not getting anywhere. You're not, you're not doing the thing that makes us good. It's like in it's like how in the um, in 7.0 when Surrender to Madness was the big thing. If you weren't able to get long Surrender to Madnesses for any reason, you just weren't good. Like that was the only thing that made us good. And it made us really really good. But if you couldn't do it, you were useless. It was a very binary thing. Um, Death lanes for the win. Hello, it's also Prezio. Drama llama. I love that phrase. I do too. Um, and I've never actually like she never actually ended up joining the guild. That was the fun twist. Was she never actually came. And I've never met her. I'm sure she's a lovely lovely person. And maybe nothing. Maybe it would have been totally fine. But that was like quite a few years ago, and I was a little more skeptical about guild drama back then because I'd had some experiences with guild drama. Um, if you need a good cathartic cry, watch 90 Days Time to Love. It's a K-drama. Oh, I do like the K-dramas that make me cry, although they all make me cry. <laughs> even the really cute romantic ones make me cry. It, just, it doesn't even have to be a sad moment. Like, I was watching this one where this chick is like, she's like pursuing a weightlifting journey or career, like whatever. And it, at one point, I think she wins a weightlifting competition, and I'm just, like, tears streaming down my face because I'm so proud of this Korean weightlifter girl. It was, I was, you know, she worked really hard, and she, she did it, you know? It was, it was moving. I'm going to watch this. Um, I love Death Knights, but I never tanked. I heard DK are good at tanking. My spec is Frost. I um, have been trying to learn Frost because I know I'm going to need to play Death Knight for a bit in order to get the well pets. Um, I'm mostly putting that off until 7-3, but I'm kind of trying to half buttedly <laughs> level it. And I've been playing Frost because I heard that was the easiest one to pick up at first, but I think I'm going to end up tanking at some point. Although I've been tanking on my Brewmaster. I like Brewmaster tanking. I have like this dream where in an alternate universe where I have just like a bunch of extra time, I have a dream where I like run a guild and I run a raid and I'm tanking and raid leading in the raid with like you guys and I'm doing it on my Brewmaster. And that's why I want to be good at my Brewmaster. But I know that the dream is unrealistic because I'm never going to have time for that. I barely have time to show up to my own guild. And I don't do anything but show up. <laughs> so it's it's just a little bit of a pipe dream. But, you know, it's a, nice, it's a nice daydream. Also, my dwarf Brewmaster is just so cute now. How did I get batter on the outside of the bowl? <laughs> All right. So... That done. I should wipe up the counter a little bit. I, try, I like to, I like to clean as I go. Otherwise, I like see the disaster at the end of it. And I'm just like, this is never gonna happen. Um, do you remember me? Here's a little hint. You should try Egyptian pastry. Stop trademark Z. You're back. I'd buy Twilight plushie. Yeah, I probably would too. Like the the whisker fins. Oh, it's good stuff. Notice me, senpai. Sup? Morning from Illinois. Hi, Bosco. I love Pepe. I have him on my head in WoW all day. You have to buy a rubber satchel. It's great. What on earth is a rubber satchel? Do you play Hunters? I used to. I used to play BM Hunter um, through Wrath and Kata. Um, I mostly stopped in Mop and became a priest, I think, around then. Get a DPS now and do a little tanking to learn. Tanking is fun. The priest mount makes me sad every time I log in. I love the priest mount. I love my little feathery feathery weird owl thing with, this, with the flat face. Blobfish slippers. I have never seen blobfish slippers. I should, um, I should look that up. That sounds like something I would like to see. DK is too strong for a starting area. Muggle mug? Yeah. Speaking of which, I need to get more of this into my face. <laughs> Mugs are too small for coffee, maybe a barrel or a tub. I, I have, like, if I'm drinking, like, a breakfast tea, like, English breakfast tea, um, like, strong English breakfast tea with a little bit of milk, sometimes a little bit of sugar, but mostly just a little bit of milk, then I want it in, like, the biggest mug that I can get that's, like, basically a bucket. Like, these are really big mugs. But if I'm drinking, like... An Asian tea, um, like an Asian black tea, I want to have it in like really small cups and I kind of sip at it because I get more of the nuance there. This is not about nuance. This is about caffeine. But the other ones, there's, there's more female, or there's more, there's more flavor going on. So I was reading female dwarf. I can't, female dwarf for the win. I like my female dwarf. Do you earn nuts from the cooking stream too? You sure do. You earn nuts. You can gamble. Hi, Hazel. New person here. Have you ever showed 
your kitty. If you mean like my actual like pet cat, then yeah, um, she comes on vlogs a lot. She comes on streams a lot. If you look at the VODs for my gaming live streams, um, and there's gonna be another one that I'll publish as soon as we're done here. And then often I'll have a cat cam that'll just show my cat sleeping in my office. Um, at least it isn't a manhole cover. Yo, I like the manhole cover. Stream's lagging a bit. That'll happen. There's not a lot to be done about it. Seems fine to me. Um, you'll be happy to hear that I'm wired into internet now. I'm not trying to stream over Wi-Fi. So the thing that happened that one time where I had to finish the stream with my iPad, we should be over that now. A uh, bit of a voice delay, but I think there usually is. Yeah, I've... So, if, so is the voice late? Because I can fix that. Um, if, the vo if the voice is too early... I, I always I, I'm always messing around around with this because um, it seems to change. I'm gonna tr I'm gonna cut the voice in half and see if that helps. Um, that might be better. But if the voice is too early, then that's weird too. So Maybe it's just my tablet. Um, it's a lot easier for me to sync voice for for whatever reason on um, obviously on an edited video, but even on the desktop stream. Do you like Netherlight Temple? I don't want to break any hearts, but no, <laughs> it's awful. Like compared to the other class halls, like you know, I'm on my I'm on the monk class hall. And the monk class hall, it's beautiful. It's this huge island. There's lots of places you can go to just like hang out by yourself. But all the stuff that you actually need to access is in a really central location. It's all very close to each other and it's all very logically laid out. Um, and you can mount up in there, which means you can like use your repair and whatever. Um, and then in the druid class hall, not only can you mount up, but you can fly. And they have a mailbox and it's like green and beautiful. And then I go in my priest class hall and I'm like, not only can I not mount up, I am walking on foot. And sure, they give you like a little speed buff when you walk in the door, but if you respawned or like logged in from inside of it and you didn't run past that lady, you're not gonna get the thing. And you know, everything's all spread out and you gotta like run along on your little gnome priest legs or whatever kind of priest you play and get all the stuff. And there's no mailbox and <sighs> not, my, not, my, not, my, not my favorite. Um... See, I watched your stream, played with you last night, Hazel. Thanks for it. Thanks, Tortel. You look like a crackhead. Dude, it's Saturday morning. You can't expect me to fix my hair. Although, to be honest, my hair is not really, like, spectacular on weekdays, so. The shaman class hall is awesome. I've been around the shaman class hall a little bit. I got my shaman to 100 um, and got into the class hall just so that I could get the snow fang pet. And uh, I thought it was neat, but I didn't, I didn't learn my way around it. And typically, I don't like a place until I know where everything is. Um... I know not too many of you probably play BDO, but I really hated in BDO um, the city of Heidel. Couldn't stand it because I didn't know where anything was because I'd you know lived in Velia my whole life. But now that I actually have figured out how to get to the um, the marketplace from anywhere, I am good. Uh, do the Dream Grove is my fave. Do you, like for me right now, I'm tied between the Dream Grove and the Monk one, the the Turtle. I don't know, the Wandering Isle. That's what they call it. But I also haven't seen them all. I haven't seen them all. I have not yet seen. Have I seen them all? No. I I saw the Hunter and Beta. What kind of classes are there? I have not been in the Paladin one. I've seen the Paladin one on people's streams. I haven't been in the Paladin one myself. Hell the Priest. I, I was in the Warrior one. I've been in the Death Knight one. I've seen the Rogue. I've seen the Druid. I haven't seen the Demon Hunter one, unless it's just their starting area. I've never... I haven't done my Demon Hunter very much. Um... Do you suck over a Pokewalk with your dog? Yo, every day, sometimes twice a day. Although I don't play as much Pokemon as I did before because um, I got a bit freaked out about how drawn into my phone I was. So usually I'll just like put it away and go eat blackberries or like try and identify birds or whatever. But I do play every day. Um, I haven't managed to find a Moltres raid that I could get in on yet. I need friends <laughs> that play Pokemon and I don't have any. So I just kind of wander around by myself and hope for the best. Highest mythic key you've done? Hi from South Africa. Hello. Um, Sup, Estelle? My highest mythic key... I don't really push mythic keys. I do like a 15 every week for the maximum um, loot that you can get from it. But after that, I'm usually done. Um, so I would, I would say probably a 15 under the new system. I think I maybe did a 16 once. I don't 100% remember. You might be able to see that in my armory, actually. My armory is... Um, I don't have it posted anywhere, do I? I think I have it posted on my Twitch page. Hello, Hazel. What's up, Malcolm? Got to go and open the drop so I'm going to get back in once I hit Wi-Fi. No problem, Jessica. And if you want to catch up on anything later, um, the VOD's going to be up. Um, I'll probably publish this VOD tomorrow. And then the one from yesterday's stream I'll put up as soon as we're done here. Uh, if you've completed the Priest campaign, then you've been in the Paladin Order Hall. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's... Didn't they, did, did they... Did we go in the Order Hall? Did they just show up? I don't remember. I know they go in our Order Hall. Um, I found I found that whole storyline to be very unsatisfying, that we needed to go get other people to handle our problems for us. The priest hall is pretty, but it's kind of in the same boat of utility and fun as the priest class hall. Yeah, the, or the paladin class hall. Oh, I see. Yeah. Yeah, the paladin class hall is pretty. And honestly, the priest one looks fine. Um, I like, 
like it has an aesthetic and it's not horrible. It's just it feels kind of empty to me. Um, I'll be your Pokemon friend. Play. I'm ever like Pokemon Go. What's with the nuts? It's just a stream currency. Um, you can gamble it. You can collect them. You can use them for pet giveaways when we're doing gaming streams. Uh, you went to the, their order hall to request assistance. That's right. It's been a while. It's been a while. So we got like 20 minutes left on that. Oh, yeah. I was going to show you guys my, um, my stuff. So I bought, because I knew for cake pops, you need to like stick them in like a thing so that they're, they can like solidify without falling over or like having a flat side or whatever. So I actually went online and got like this kit. It's like a Wilton cake pop kit. So it has like this board. I know you could just do this with styrofoam. But it has this board with like stick holders kind of. And then it also came with, this was the part that I really liked. It came with this like silicone microwavable um, thing that you melt your candy or your chocolate in or whatever in the microwave. And then you can just dip it in. It's like the right size for dipping a cake pop. A, a cake pop. <laughs> um, and I really like that. So I ended up actually also getting just a bag of their candy melts because I have never had very good luck with melting and then re-hardening chocolate. Um, and these things are a little bit more designed for, for that purpose for people like me that don't know what they're doing and don't have like a candy thermometer or anything. So this should be pretty easy. Um, the one thing that I'm not super prepared on is I understand that I'm going to need to mix in some icing with the cake to like make it stick together. And I figure I'm just going to make some icing, but I have no idea how much icing. I'm not really using a cake pop, re a cake pop recipe. Um, I don't know how much icing to mix in. Also, I, I kind of want to flavor it. But I think the only flavoring I have is like peppermint. I guess I could make a chocolate mint thing. But one of my friends really, really hates mint. And I want to be able to share them with everybody. So maybe I won't do that. Uh, cake pot? Cake pop. It's like a lollipop. Yeah, it's going to be like a little... Well, we don't know what it's going to be like because I haven't done it yet and I've never done it, so it might be a disaster. But they're like little um, balls of cake that are covered in icing or chocolate or frosting or whatever that are on the end of a lollipop stick. And you just kind of like eat like a little bite of cake. Um, I don't 100% get the point yet, but they're very popular, generally speaking. So we're going to find out. We're going to find out. More clothes, Hazel? I thought this was a YouTube stream. More clothes, Hazel. What? Are you upset that I'm wearing shorts? <laughs> it's hot out. Uh, one can of frosting to one cake. I love to make them. See, I heard that I should be very, very. Um, also, I'm, I, I don't. I didn't end up buying a frosting can. I'm gonna mix up the frosting. But I heard that I should be like air on the side of less frosting than more, like just enough to make it stick together. But I don't. I guess I'll just make like a couple cups of it, which I would assume is like a can's worth, and I'll just keep adding it until it seems like the right consistency. Uh, the amount of frosting for the cake pops is entirely my gut feelings. You don't want it to be too mushy or too dry. Okay. Yeah, I'm probably going to end up making it too mushy, but we'll, we'll do what we can. You're betting cake monstrosity? Yeah. I ended up making the, um, hang on, I'm gonna, if I'm just going to hang out here for another like 20 minutes, I'm probably going to make a pot of tea. I'm going to grab my stool so I can sit. Um, there we go. I try not to make too much noise when I do that. What was I saying? Talking about cake, icing, tea. completely lost my train of thought. Why is she so calm towards hate? I mean, we all have good days and bad days. Most days it's fine because it's just people talking on the internet. But every now and then, you know, you just like go, you, you put up a video and you go to read your comment and somebody said something. It's not even like, like abusive or super toxic. It's just something like out of touch. And I'm just like, <laughs> why? I make the videos for free. Uh, my mom has the same mug. I want to steal my mom's. You should try drinking out of it before you consider actually stealing it because it's not like it's, it's, it's a cute mug and I do use them, but it's not always easy to like extract tea out of the, out of the Merlot skull. Um, you earned no time to heal achievement last night, partially because of your wisdom. Oh, cool. I don't even know if I have that. I think I might've gotten it by accident once, but maybe, you get, maybe then again, maybe I didn't, maybe I actually should do that. Can you play Roblox? I have never heard of Roblox. Like a lollipop, but a cake? I'm trying to muddle my way through raising my first battle pet team while watching your stream. Um, like, if you're raising your first team from level one, obviously, if, you're, if you want to do it the old-fashioned way and going to do, like, the old tamers and, and power leveling with, um, like, wild pets or whatever, that's totally fine. But if you don't want to do it from scratch the first time, consider um, the possibility of using the zookeeper enchant on your shoulders. Um, which will over time get you some pet charms from bags of pet goodies. 
if you can collect 45 pet charms, which will take a while, but not necessarily as long as going to do a bunch of the baby pets, then you can actually get a stone to level your first pet from 1 to 25. And as soon as you have your first pet, you can get pets that are level 25 from other players. Like you can buy them on the auction house. Um, and that's, if you can get at least two pets like that, two level 25 pets, then it's much faster to catch up additional ones. And that can save you um, some pet battle time, not necessarily like calendar time, because it does take a while to get 45 pet charms from the goodies from the zookeeper enchant. But um, it does, it like, you're collecting the pet charms while you're doing stuff like world quests and dungeons and stuff you'd be doing anyways. So it's, I, I like doing it that way. Um, if you are interested, the pet, or the zookeeper enchant is sold by Doramus and the Dollar on Pet Shop. Hi Hazel, love your bacon stream. Such, sub crisscross. Shout out for Cena, please. Sure, sure. Shout out to Cena. Like, the dude that crashes in from the sky. I actually have no idea where that meme is from. <laughs> Um, you got a guild that I could join? Unfortunately, no. Our guild is not accepting new members. Watching all your videos over the last couple of weeks. Aw, thanks, Kristen. I hope you're having a good time. You have a BB-8 mug that's exactly like the Murloc one in case of hard to drink out of. Yeah, it's not fair because they're so cute. They're so cute. I, I actually have no idea. How, like, this is pretty good. It's not like going to spill tea all over your face or anything. You just have to pay a little bit of attention. Or coffee or, you know, whatever you're going to have. But, um... I think it would be very hard to design a mug that's like a character mug like that that also is easy to drink out of. Are you watching Game of Thrones, Hazel? It's very good. Oh, you know it. I am, I'm actually like really into the books um, to the point that I've reread them a lot <laughs> over, over, over the last like five years or so. I've reread the books a lot. Ever since Dance with Dragons came out, I've been rereading them. And um, for a long time, I was participating in like fan community or fan communities with like fan theories and whatever. Um, so I'm, so I'm, I'm interested to see where the show goes. I'm more invested in the books and I might actually die waiting for the Winds of Winter to come out, but the show, the show is actually very good. I've been enjoying it a lot this, this, um, this season and we get a new episode tomorrow. Shout out to Snow Ted. Shout out to Snow Ted. I think the camera needs to focus. It's probably true. Um, see if I can do anything about that. I'm a little disappointed in this camera. I expected better from it. This is a fairly expensive webcam as far as webcams go anyways. Properties. Um, oh god, nope, nope, nope. That's fine. Well, maybe, maybe that'll do it. Hello? It looks a little better. <laughs> that's not what I that's not what I intended to do, but I think it worked anyways. <laughs> You're a bit blurry. Yeah, that's true. Um, any thoughts about a community or fan guild like Preach? It's something that I want to do. Um, it's a really great idea and I think it would be a lot of fun, but I don't want to commit to any projects like that until I can actually until I know that I have the time to manage it properly, because the last thing I want is for it to be a place that's not a cool place to be. I want to be able to, like, actually do guild leading and actually assign officers and, like, manage interpersonal stuff and, you know, organize some raids and events and whatever. And right now I'm, right now I'm focused on making videos, and I'm not even keeping up with that as well as I would like to. So it's definitely something I want to do, but it's not on the immediate plan list. The new episode leaked. I saw it yesterday. Oh, man. I try, I try and avoid spoilers. No spoilers, please. Have you played both the Alliance and Horde? Which do you prefer and why? I have played both the Alliance and Horde. Um, I've been Alliance for most of my WoW time. I played Horde all through Mop. Um, I was Horde all through Mop and a little bit of Cataclysm. So I've been on both sides. I've played plenty of different races. And I think, honestly, there's cool races on both sides. And there's obviously cool people on both sides. Um, and there's cool characters on both sides. But I, you know, if I had to pick a side, I'm obviously going to pick Alliance because that's just where my heart is. I like their cities better. I like their races better. I like their stories better. Um, I like my Manduin, and nobody will ever break our love apart. Hey, Hazel, I have that Murloc mug too. Y'all, what's up, Norma? I love the ninja that shows up when I pop out and chat. The ninja's pretty cool. People hate it. People hate on the YouTube streaming system, but I think it's actually great. Um, I really like being able to see profile images for all of you guys because it helps me. Um, it, it helps me a remember who people are, and uh, it's just it's just better for for interaction. I think. Hey, Hazel, what's up, Andre? Sounds like you just need a super awesome Lieutenant Honeydew list for Hubby. Oh my goodness, there's no way. There's no way. I don't think he, he plays WoW, but I don't think he likes WoW very much. Um, do you know Talisman and Evatil? Um, have you watched any of their vids? Yeah, I do. Um, I, I do know of them. They, you know that thing they do at like the end of the video where they say if you have any hate mail, send it to like some other person? Um, they threw me up for one of those and somebody was like, hey, you're in a video. And I'm like, really? I like when I'm watching, I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, that, that thing. Um, but you know, they, they make, they make great videos. They're very funny. Have you tried to make machinimas? No, no, I haven't. Um, it's something that I would like to do, but it's something that honestly, I think there was like a golden age of machinima. And I think that age is over. If I was going to do like wow style animation, I would prefer to do 2d animation, kind of like what Carbot does, assuming that I could 
do it. Um, I've been learning. I've been learning a little bit about animation and like more editing and creative software. So I've been practicing and stuff like that, but not not for any not not anytime soon. Um, is the audio distinct for other people not quite right for me? It's never. It's no. So what I need to know, because I can I can adjust it a little bit, is is the sound too early or is it too late? Because we can we can twiddle with that, but there's I, I don't think I can actually fix it. Uh, hashtag not my king. Aw, I mean, but 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 man, because <laughs> I'm playing well at the same time. That might be it. That might be it. Where did you get the awesome Alliance apron? I got this from an Etsy store. Um, do I still have it linked in the description? I might not anymore. Um, if you go search like on Google, um, Alliance Apron Etsy, and then the shop name was Printing and Crafting. Um, the guy that runs that, very nice, um, very very good service, and I love the apron. It's a great apron. And I think he also does like leggings and other other print stuff. He's not an official like Blizzard affiliate or anything, so. But I I do like it quite a bit. All the nuts, thanks, Norma. Hazel Subshifter. Um. If Blinz turns their patty, no table near me will be safe. I don't think Blizzard is going to turn her... I don't... Well, I don't know what Blizzard's going to do, but I don't think they should turn her into a villain. Um, and I think that a lot of the speculation about whether or not she's going to get turned into a villain is people just kind of overreacting to the fact that she's had... She's having feelings that are not entirely sugary and sweet. Like, she's having a completely human reaction to all of the trauma that she's been through. And people just... I don't know. Pe people have a very binary view of characters and character development like that. And... You know, I, I I feel I feel like people that have never been through something really horrible have a hard time relating to it. They just think, oh, man, you know, her hair is gray and she was grumpy this one time. So now she's raw evil and she's probably a dreadlord. Like, it's, it's not fair, you know. But Adam, <laughs> thanks for the five bucks, Adam. Buy a fridge magnet. Buy a fridge magnet. I kind of like my fridge being all like, I mean, I guess if we could get a really cool wow one, that would be something. Um, I do have, and I actually take it down during the stream. I don't know why. Maybe It's not, like, embarrassing, but it's a little, I don't know. I have, like, a whiteboard, like, a little whiteboard that I do meal planning on. So, like, every week when I'm making the grocery list, I'll figure out what I'm going to cook for the week. I'll write them all down. And then as I make a thing, I, like, check it off so that when 5 or 6 o'clock rolls around, I'm like, I don't know what to make for dinner. I, like, look at the board. I know what things I have the stuff for. And I can just pick one and make it. It makes that a lot easier. But I always take it down because I don't want people judging what I make for dinner. I don't know. <laughs> Why can't I type? Sometimes it's hard. It's okay. It's not, it's not, it's not you. It's not you. It's the world. Some really cool ones in the Blizzard store. I should look at that then. Um, I'm, I'm not, I'm, I'm in a non-shopping mode for now, but I should, I should look into that at some point. Stainless steel fridges don't take magnets. Well, it, it, it's, it takes magnets. Um, they work. It's not super, like you would need a pretty strong magnet because on its own stuff tends to fall off of it. But I like, I like, I wipe the fridge down every day because it shows fingerprints really clearly. And I feel like it would be harder to wipe it down every day if I had a bunch of stuff on it. How did you start playing WoW? I mean, I bought a copy of the game and then I went to my computer and I like uh, set up an account and then I logged in. Um, and then I used my hands on like the keyboard. <clears throat> no, nah, um, I'm just messing with you. Although that is actually what happened. But no, my, uh, I was in high school. Um, all of my friends played. Oops. In high school, all my friends played, and um, and my high school boyfriend played, and I would go over to his house to hang out with him, and he would ignore me and play WoW, as high school boys tend to do. And I was like, man, this is the most boring thing on the planet. What can possibly be so cool about this game? So uh, I picked it up, and I changed my life, and they all quit, and I still play. Um, we're already in your kitchen. We don't need to know your complete diet, right? Like, that's, like something about that feels like oversharing to me. Okay, so... Are there really eight? Why did I put my stool away? There's only eight minutes left. I guess, actually, you know what I can do is we can mix up the icing now. Let me have a little bit of water. Um, yeah, I can mix up the icing. There's nothing, it's not like making it early is going to like really ruin it or anything. Uh, the stuttering, is the stream stuttering or is my voice stuttering? <laughs> do you know Snow Ted? Never heard of him. Rare earth magnets are great for that. Rare earth magnets. What is a rare earth magnet? After watching your Twilight video, I got on a small player, used a magical pet biscuit, and slash Sid. It's hilarious. I did that actually at some point because I, I had used the pet biscuit on Twilight in order to um, get her big enough for that hashtag wreck screenshot. Um, and uh, I did the Sid thing after, and it's like, yeah, it's great because it just eats you basically. My ex also got me into WoW. The game is great. He not so much, right? Although, honestly, I don't really have anything against my high school ex. It's just one of those things that, you know, you just grow out of. Um, does not always work out. And that's okay. All right, so icing. Um, I haven't made ice. Should I, should I look up a recipe or should I just, like, wing it? 
We have icing sugar. We have, um, I think I have some cream. You can do this with water, milk, or cream. I thought I had some half and half in here. I do have half and half, all right. And then um, I'm gonna, not that it matters because this is going inside the cake pot, but I'm gonna color this pink. Am I gonna color it pink? Yeah, because that's the only color that's not gonna like horrendously clash. So let's do, let's do it in the mixer here. Have you seen? No, I don't actually watch a whole lot of YouTube if these are YouTubers that you're mentioning. I'm probably not gonna know most of them. My mom got me into wow even after I kept saying that I wouldn't get into it. That's parenting. That's, that's great. I like that. Don't wing it. <laughs> See, some people say wing it and some people say don't wing it. Icing's not, icing is, is not that hard because you can adjust it, right? Like if your icing's super runny, you add more sugar. And if your icing's super thick, then you add more of whatever liquid you're using. It's not, it's not rocket science. Um, it's not like we're making pastry over here. So, <laughs> however, I am going to look up some very basic proportion size, something to start with. I'm pretty sure if I use just like two cups of icing here, hang on, icing, purple, I can do purple, but see, okay. So it's going to be chocolate cake. So brown cake, the candy melts that are going on top are pink. The sprinkles are like multicolored. We can make it purple inside or we can make, I thought the pink would match, but you might be right. Uh, vanilla buttercream frosting recipe. Ooh, BettyCrocker.com. Sure, why not? Um, three cups. I don't need. I don't need that much. We're gonna cut this in half. Oh yeah, I should add some vanilla to it. That's a good idea. Yeah, I'm just gonna start with like one and a half cups. Do I need that much? Yeah, I'll, we'll we'll do two cups and then I'll just like start adding tablespoons of milk or cream and whatever with like a little bit of vanilla. We're gonna figure this out. Also, I accidentally closed my chat. I'm gonna open that up again. <laughs> so. I can talk to you guys while I'm like hunched over into my corner. Hey Hazel, what's your favorite color? I think I've settled on green, but I'm really bad at picking. I liked blue for ages because my eyes were blue and I thought that the color that you liked had to match your eyes. I thought that for like years. <laughs> um, but I think I've settled on green. I think I really like green. Green is a lovely color and it's the color of a lot of things that I really like. You know, like outside. <laughs> okay. Make the Wow Icing Alliance blue. You, it's going to be mixed into chocolate cake, though. Like, this, it's not going to really be colored like anything. Um, maybe I should just do it at random. <laughs> uh, yeah, Elaine is totally the pro baker. The baking stream is more fun than I thought it would be. Yeah, baking is always fun. Um, mostly because we eat a lot of batter when we're not supposed to. One day I'm going to get sick and I'm going to be like, yeah, I shouldn't have done that. I'm looking for a knife to, like, level this thing off. I think it's mostly fun to just kind of hang out away from the desk a little bit. I like standing up once in a while, you know? I feel like I, like sometimes at the end of the day, I like get out of my chair and I'm like, man, this is not at the shape that my body was meant to be. When your wow tank is your dad, man. Family guilds are the best. Norma is the best mom. How do you get views? Um, you make stuff and then you put it on the internet. And then you watch it and you go, man, that was awful. And then you make something better. And then you do that about 950 times. And then you, you know, hope for the best. Um, <laughs> you grew up in restaurants and you compete in cooking competitions. Yo, that totally makes you a pro baker. Do not, do not be humble. Baking stream might be my favorite thing. I'm really glad some people like it because otherwise we would be very much in the hole for something that nobody likes. Um, cup. Oh yeah. So I'm going to put two cups of this in here. We're doing dollar on brownies. So we do two baking streams a month. So we're doing dollar on brownies, which I'm excited about because it's not a very hard recipe. And I've been, I've been f fudging some recipes lately. So we're going to do brownies on Monday, the 14th, I think, assuming that Monday is a 14th. I might be wrong about that. Shout out to all the moms in chat. Yeah. Shout out to my mom. I don't think she's watching because I don't think she does. Um, and if she like, she's a very busy lady. Um, but I have, and, and lucky to still have, I grew up with the best mom on the planet, or at least the best mom I've ever had, but really, really wonderful mom. All right, so that's two cups of that. My mom taught me how to bake. She didn't, te she didn't teach me how to decorate, though, because I was like, you know, I'm always more about, like, the eating of the stuff than the making of the stuff. Like, the making is just kind of like a step on the way to eating it. <laughs> it's like, you know what, mom, you're right. Good morning, Hazel Slip Gregory. How are you doing? family fun time. The 14th is Monday. Yeah. So that's when we're doing the dollar and brownies. It's going to be 2 PM in the afternoon. Um, a bit of an afternoon stream. Hopefully I don't actually cook myself. All right. I need uh, spoons, spoons, spoons. Once, um, when I move eventually, I don't know if it's going to be this December or the next year, but, um, when we eventually move to a house, when I finally get my, my 
pennies saved up for a hazelnut house. Um, it is entirely likely that the kitchen we do the baking streams is downgrades like a lot. Because this, this apartment's got pretty nice appliances and it's got a pretty nice kitchen as you can probably see. Um, and if we're getting a house, we're probably getting um, a fairly inexpensive house. And I feel like that's fine. Like you don't want to be paying a huge amount in your mortgage. It's better to get something that you can afford. And then if you start making more money later, you can always go and upgrade stuff. But I feel like that's the way I would rather go. Okay, so that's, I added two tablespoons. I don't know if I was supposed to, that might be too much. We're just gonna mix this up and see how it goes. I don't remember which one I'm supposed to use. I'm gonna use this one. I'm sure, I'm sure it's fine either way. You made the dollar and brownies, they're amazing. I've actually made them at least once and they worked out pretty good. Mine were a little bit dry. I think I need to do something to make them fudgier or maybe I'm just really used to, um, maybe I'm just really used to like the store-bought brownie mix, like the ones that are like so fudgy, they're basically fudge. All right, so I think I also need to add like a teaspoon of this. Ah, uh, thanks, Golden Creeper. Can't wait for the video on getting into raiding. Keep up the good work, Hazel. May the nut gods rain good fortune upon you. May the nut gods rain good fortune upon you too. Um, yes, still on my list. Honestly, I'm gonna be completely honest with you. Might be in September because I'm pretty. I'm pretty confident that the patch 7.3 is gonna be out kind of end of August, beginning of September. And I have a list of about 30 videos that I want to make for that. You know, all the rating guides, um, all the like guides for all of the new features, um, lists of like the best ways to make gold and all the cool things that are coming and achievements and like all sorts of stuff. And I'm going to do my best to get as much of it done in August as I can. But that means that stuff like that that's not 7.3 related is probably going to get pushed to September. But I have not forgotten. It is on the list. It's like at the top of the list. And it is a very good idea. All right, well, I have officially made um, icing crumble, so I think I need to add more cream. Uh, let's go ahead and drop in a little bit. I think we're gonna go with purple. Was it Adam that wanted purple? I think we're gonna go with purple. I think purple is gonna make them more caldera. Oh, I need to take the cake out. Cake, 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 cake. There we go. My, they're not heavy duty, but I like these, I like these uh, oven mitts a lot. There we go. Oh gosh, hot face, hot face. So. That looks about right. Do I have a stabby toothpick here? I thought I did. I have boxes of stabby toothpicks. I know you can just do it, use this with a fork, but that is one done cake. Perfect. Okay. I'm going to turn the fan on low. Um, I'm going to get a cooling rack underneath that actually, because we need it to cool down really quickly so that we can murder it and turn it into a bunch of little cake bits and then mash them up to make cake pops with. What's my favorite mount? That is so hard. That is so hard. Um, I ride something different like every week. My favorite mount? I really like... I keep thinking of shop mounts. And that's not fair. I'm trying to think of like my favorite in-game mount. All right, two drops of purple stuff. Um, I want them to make a bunny mount. <laughs> It's not in the game yet, but I really want them to make a bunny mount. And if they make a bunny mount, that'll be my favorite now. Hazel stole Savix's gambling. Yeah. Uh, gambling, I will have you know, has been on a time, timeless tradition on streams for a very long time. But yeah, pretty much. Uh, if it makes you feel any better, I set up the bot first. <laughs> All right, so let's add another like teaspoon of this. I don't have my uh, like counter cam set up, so you guys can't see in that bowl, but it's probably for the best. Right now we need more. Right now it looks like dough. It's supposed to be icing, but it looks like dough. How are you doing, Bobin? For the gambling, smart money's on the 29th. Yeah, that's the, basically the date that I'm looking at. YouTube stars don't make as much as they used to. That's why so many of them turn to Patreon or other money services. It's absolutely true. Although I am so far from a YouTube star, I don't know if that statement even applies to me. <laughs> I am a YouTube believing in myself and almost getting by. There we go. Let's just keep adding more of this. Come on, turn into icing. It looks like I've made a, like, purple people eater gore. That's that's getting better. That's, that's more like it. The luminous star seeker for me, but my favorite mount used to be the rune saver. See, I was thinking the star seeker because I just got it and it's so pretty, but because it's new, I don't know if that's biasing me or not. Do you only play WoW or do you also play other games? I play other games casually. Um. I like to kind of casually play Black Desert online. I'm gonna mix this myself. I don't think this is working out right. 
Um, I casually play Black Desert Online. Sometimes I'll play a little bit of Hearthstone. I love Overwatch. Uh, I play I play Overwatch whenever I can. And that's about it. I have played other games in the past. I've put a lot of time into Dark Souls. Um, all the Dark Souls. One, two, three, um, Bloodborne. Um, big fan of Dark Souls. But I haven't been playing it lately because WoW pretty much, well, WoW and then videos, they pretty much take all of the time known to mankind. So this is like the purple, <laughs> the purple icing. This is still way too thick. I need to add way more stuff to that. Uh, so we're gonna, maybe I should use the other thing, like the, the paddle. Maybe that would be better. You are a star. Love your narration. Thank you, Ian. Are you going to continue some of the streams in a weekend? I can't watch during the week. I'm thinking about it. I think I might do it every now and then, but I don't want to commit to a schedule because that's just going to leave me canceling because sometimes it's going to be like Saturday or Sunday. I'm going to be like, I'm not. <laughs> We're not. Can't do it. Can't do it. So um, I would like to do it more often, but again, I'm not going to commit to anything. It's going to be kind of like a surprise thing. Here we go. Um, you can drop people off it and almost kill them. Oh, man, like the, pass the flying passenger bounce. My favorite mini pet? Um, for looks, I really like... Oh, gosh, this is like tar. You're absolutely right. I should have... Uh, how did I How did I mess up icing? I think I just need like a lot more cream. I've been adding teaspoons, and I need to be adding tablespoons. Come on. We just needed to get the, the cake to stick together. We're going to figure that out. Figure this out. Um... Yeah, the, the Coastal Sandpiper, I think, is the cutest pet. Um, the new shop pet that they just added is pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. We need Blizz to acknowledge Hazel so she can become WoW famous. Or the guy that's doing friendship, Miss. I don't know. I don't want to, like... It would be cool. Don't get me wrong. It's, like, my greatest dream in life to have a battle pet tamer NPC named Hazel. But, you know, it's their game. And uh, my role is to just try and make cool videos. That's all I'm going to do. Favorite video type that you've ever made? Favorite video type. I like doing battle pet guides. Battle pet guides are fun. Um, they feel very comfortable for me because I've done so many of them. And then this is going to be really dumb, but I made a video when the um, when Brian Holenka was doing his PvP q and A. I I was like really bored the morning before, so I made like a really dumb vlog video where I like narrated my cat talking, and I thought that was hilarious. <laughs> It was awful, but I thought it was really funny. I had a good time. What made you start a YouTube channel? All right, so now I've made icing that's more like a drizzle icing, so I think I need to add some more flour, or more more icing sugar now. Did I put it away already? I lost it. Where'd it go? Stay. Um, we, need to, we need to get this going so I can get the, uh, I can get the, the balls hardened. That sounds awful. Did I put what? Where? What? What? I found it. <laughs> Sounds. Uh, your favorite WoW character? Manduin. Uh, or Anduin. Growing up, Anduin. I've always liked Anduin. I liked Anduin ever since I read the Shattering novel. Um, but I like him even more now. Yeah. I'm just so proud of him. I really hope that they don't like make him evil. That would really break my heart. I don't know if you got my message, but thank you for the battle pet this month. Sorry, I was finally outed as someone who doesn't pet battle. I thought that was really funny. Um, there's, there's totally no pressure on it. I, I, I hope it was okay that I got you a level 1-1 one, because one, I figured you'd want like a cute one you can use. So I, I bought you a puppy. Are you going to go to VidCon? No. Uh, dude, if I'm going to go to a convention, I'm going to go to BlizzCon. And I can't afford to go to BlizzCon, so I'm going to hang out in my kitchen and make icing. Ugh. I do want to go to BlizzCon one year, though. It's like a super dear dream of mine. But maybe, like, if I can work real hard and save really well, and we can move at the end of this year, then BlizzCon 2018 might be a, might be a thing. If I, if I really believe in myself and make, like, a, another thousand videos, <laughs> it would be too good. Okay, so I, I've completely forgotten what icing is supposed to be textured like now. D don't you think that, like, having it be a little bit gooey would be better for... For... Sticking cake together? No a bad idea. I'm going to have more icing. <laughs> We're going to figure this out. I hope they don't make him evil. I'm pretty sure anyone is already evil. No way. No way. Let's try that. Nice apron, Hazel. Thanks, Frank. Anduin or Manduin? I mean, why not both? Why not both? How can I get some novels if they don't sell them in my local bookstores? Um, I don't have 
Actually, no, I have one hard copy. I don't know where I got it. You can buy them on Amazon. Um, I buy ebooks. I buy digital books now. I like reading on my iPad. That is my preferred way to consume novels because that way when I move, I don't have to move like a bunch of books. I had them out for a few days, but now I'm rocking my Starlight Kitten. I don't blame you. The Starlight Kitten is cute. All right. This looks like frosting. It is officially a frosting consistency. It's kind of thick again, but you know what? We're done. We're just going to make too much of it if we keep doing that. So now this is getting into uncharted territory. We are going to take a big bowl. We are going to murder the cake until it's just like a bunch of little, a bunch of, a bunch of cake dust. Well, not dust, but like bits, you know? And then we're going to mix in icing until it starts to stick together. I'm going to take off my ring so I don't like get cake all up in it. I'm going to put it over there in the spot so I don't lose it. Um, I'm going to clean up a little bit to make myself a little bit of room for all this. Because this is when cake is going to get popping. <laughs> I don't know why you guys watch. Um, if you're into lore, prepare for some confusion if you read the novels. The compendiums are canon but came after the most novels. It's contradictions. Oh, that would, that would get me actually. BlizzCon 2018, let's make it happen, Hazelene's Entourage. How fun would it be to make just like a huge vlog and just like meet? I want it like if I'm going to, if I'm ever going to BlizzCon, I'm going to like hunt down as many of you as I can and I and get just pictures with everybody. What am I doing? I'm cleaning. I'm, I'm going to clean up these things. Do you have a hoard apron? <laughs> no, I don't. And honestly, I don't even know if I would wear it. I, 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 I'm, I'm blue in my heart, man. Blue in my heart. I wanted to stream this week, but other events got in the way. I'm not happy. That happens, that happens, and it's always so frustrating when you had like a plan and then stuff just happens and you can't stick to it. It's, that's how I feel whenever I have like a schedule, like a video like I'm gonna make for X day, and then something just comes up and it's not done in time, and I'm like, man, this is just, I, I've, I've, I've failed everybody. Need to feed my cat that is apparently starving to death and hasn't eaten in days according to his meows. Aren't cats like that? Although mine doesn't do that anymore because we got her an auto feeder. Honestly, best, best thing that I've bought in the last, like, five years <laughs> was um, this big auto feeder for the cat because now she lets me sleep in. She's realized that the food comes from the machine, and we were concerned that after she realized the food came from the machine that she wouldn't love us anymore. But she's a sweetheart of a baby of a cat, and she still loves us, but now she doesn't, like, step on us whenever she wants food. Okay, so I'm going to get my bowl. I want tea that I can drink around the thing. I'm going to put on a different pot of tea, actually. Eh. Maybe we'll do that. We'll, we'll put on a different pot of tea once once um, we get around to uh, like having the stuff cool. Because there's going to be a couple stages of putting the stuff in freezers. I guess I can do it over here. We can kind of see over here a little bit. I'm going to move. Is this still hot? Eh, it's warm. Not super hot. So from what I understand, I just need to scoop. This is going to be way too much cake. I'm only making 12 cake pops. Should I put in half the cake at first? I'm going to put in half the cake. We're going to start with half the cake. Because otherwise I'm going to end up with like a bunch of extra like cake, you know, icing cake, icing mixed in cake bits. And it's going to be just like, what do I do with this? So I'd rather have half a cake left over. I can probably find something to do with half a cake. All right, well, we got some cake. Take a fork. Actually, you know it's more fun than a fork? Two forks. Favorite item themed by WoW that you bought? Oh man, I have so much WoW stuff. Um, my Mischief the Fell plush, Mischief, Mischief the Fell kitten plush. I love that plush. That plush is adorable. It's super well designed. It's so cute. And I love it a lot. This, this bowl of cake bits is steaming and I don't know what to do with that. <laughs> um, best thing I ever bought for my cats was the Cat Genie. The first one worked fantastic. Is that like an auto feeder? Um, after three cats, five years is a long time for something like that. The others didn't do so well. Yeah. We bought a cheaper auto feeder early on and it kind of worked, but she realized that she could stick her paw up in the mechanism and make more food come out. And we weren't having that. So we ended up buying like, and we, we needed, we needed at the time we needed to get like a really good one because we were going to be going away for a few days. And um, we wanted her to be okay on her own. Like, we still had somebody coming in to clean the litter box and change her water and whatever, but we wanted her to be able to eat her meals at her normal times. So, um, so basically, we wanted a really good feeder. So we bought, like, the highest rated one on Amazon. It was fairly expensive. It was, like, 120 150 bucks. But it works like a beast. It's great. Okay. Also, it's got a huge capacity, so you don't have to fill it very often. So I've got a bunch of cake dust. 
it's warm, but it's not like finger burningly warm. I don't know how um, cool this needs to be. Oh, it's a litter bowl that drains into the sewer system. It flushes and you just have to see it. They're YouTube vids. Oh, weird. Interesting. I've never heard of that. That seems like a good idea. Woman that does pet battles and cooks. I mean, it's not the whole story. <laughs> uh, you just got to mention on Telus and like a new one. Because I, I know I was in one of their older videos. Well, not older videos, but like a month or so back. Norma got me mischief for Christmas, Hazel. It wears my headset when I don't wear it. That's such a good idea. I like that a lot. Okay, so we're going to... I feel like this is going to be a mess. Whatever. We're going to go for it. We're going to just start adding icing and mixing it in. My hands are going to be like... We just need it to all stick together so that we can form like balls. So here, we're two big scoops of icing. Do I use the forks? I think I just go in with my fingers. We'll add the. We'll use the forks later if it becomes an issue. And we're just gonna. Oh man, this is this is weird. This feels really weird. I'm just gonna squish. Nice kitty litter thing. Oh, okay. If I ever had more than one cat, <laughs> I might do that. I kind of want a second cat because I love cats, but I love my first cat so much that I can't imagine possibly getting a better cat than the cat that I already have. So, I could only get a worse cat because I already have the best one. And, and if I do get a cat that's like also amazing, then how do I love them both equally? Oh, I see. So this is kind of like, this will, it'll kind of stick together, I, I bet. It's very warm. This is, this is a strange, strange feeling. <laughs> it's so gooey. <laughs> I wish I could send you a pic of mischief with my headset on. Is there a way to? Um, if you take the picture, I don't know if you have a Twitter account, you could tweet it to me. Um, or you can also email it to me. Um, hazelnuttygames at gmail.com. You can just send me an email uh, with the picture. What mic do you use? Like on my head right now or in general? Because this thing is like a Winbridge UHF um, wireless mic. I went through like a lot of different wireless mics before I landed on this one. Um, it's not like expensive or anything. It's just it works and that's all I needed to do. All right. So yeah, I can, I can make balls out of this. So I think the next step is... Do I make the balls and then freeze them? I need. I know I need to get the balls on the sticks. I'm going to take some parchment paper and then just lay it out and then make the balls and put them on there for now. Is that what I'm going to do? I think that's what I'm going to do. No, I should do it on a tray. I should check my available fr freezer space. That's the first thing I should do. Let me wash my hands. I have five cats. Three are rescued. I love them so much. Oh, do you have pictures anywhere of them? I don't think you can post links in the stream, but I love looking at I, lo I love looking at people's cats. Oh yeah, so this mic is like I said, Winbridge UHF mic. Um, in there I use a Rode NT1A. Um, I used to have a Blue Yeti, but then after I decided to upgrade because I hit one of the Patreon goals that had me upgrading some of my equipment, um, I, I upgraded to the Rode NT1A. It's like a um, what do you call it? SL no, not SLR. XLR. That's the word. Um, it's like an XLR recording studio mic. And then I sent my perfectly functional Blue Yeti along to a very deserving new home. So, oh yeah, freezer space. Okay, so can I fit a, tr I can. I think, I cleared some room. So if I take, um, you know actually, because I'm not making that many of them, I'm going to make a lot of noise, whoopsie daisies, and use, how did cheese get in here? I'm going to clean this. Um, I'm going to use a, like a nine inch, or eight, eight or nine inch cake pan. I'm gonna line it with parchment paper. I'm gonna put the balls on there and then put them in the freezer for like 10 or 15 minutes just to uh, solidify them up a little bit before we try and, eh, maybe we'll do the sticks in them all at once. They'll need to cool in the fridge for at least 30 minutes before you put the sticks in. Okay, thank you. That's the info that I needed. Girl in blue for life. Now, are you talking about me with like the Alliance stuff or is there something else? Um, everyone's cat is the best cat if you're a cat person, it's true. I have three cats. One looks like Hazel. I feel like every gray tabby cat looks like mine, and that's okay, because they're all beautiful. Your stream last week with Peeps testing the Argus raid. Oh! Oh, and I'll have to look that up. Um, were they in there? That would be cool. We foster kittens for Halo. It's fun getting baby kitties all the time. Aw. But then you have to let them, then you have to see them leave. Wouldn't that be sad? I guess if they're going to good homes, then that's good. One of them is my YouTube picture. Oh, yeah, I did like that cat. I can tweet them to you. Do that. Yes, did the sticks and chocolate and put in the pops and again in the fridge. Okay, so 30 minutes and then 15 minutes. And then probably, all right, well, we'll just start with that. We need, we need to get these in the fridge if they're going to be in there for another 30 minutes. 
Um, thankfully, oh, I should turn the oven off. Oh, I knew it was too warm in here for a reason. Thankfully, now that we've got the cake baked, we are past the point where we have to have the oven on. So the only thing that's really making it hotter in here is the light that I have on me. Um, and I only have, I, I gave up on two lights because I think the one light is actually better. Um, two was just reflecting too much off of the fridge. You can still see like a huge reflection off the microwave, but I don't know what to do about that. So I'm gonna trim parchment paper. Once we have these cooling in the freezer, is there any room for 12? One, two, three, four, one, two. Maybe this is too small. Maybe I should actually do it on a proper tray. Let's go use this guy. Let's use this thing. Um, some parchment. Get it all flattened out. And I'm just going to make some balls and throw them on there. So Squish it all together. I think this feels like a good consistency. We'll see. Grabs random ball cheese. I, I've been on a bit of a cheese grating. You know what? I need a bigger piece of parchment. I've been on a bit of a cheese grating uh, kick just because I recently got a food processor. You can kind of see it on my counter. And I'm just so over the moon that I don't have to hand grate cheese anymore that I'll just like buy a huge block of cheese and then just like grate the whole thing and put it in a big bag in the freezer. All right. That's better. That's more like it. So I'm not, I don't know exactly how big to make these. I guess I'll just make 12 of them and then I'll just keep adding. I'll just make them bigger <laughs> until I've used up all this stuff. So two. These are so easily coming together into balls that I think I might have put too much icing in them, but we'll see. We'll see what the texture is like when we're actually done. I heard that I want to make sure that I don't use any of those like stiff corner or edge pieces that are like a little bit overbaked. I've heard those will make for like a bad consistency. So we're going to try and work against that. My cat looks unique because he has a derpy ear. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That sounds cute. My kitty has kind of fluffy ears. She has like a lot of ear hair. <laughs> she has a lot of ear hair for a cat. Uh, long-haired orange Maine Coon mix. They're brothers and beautiful. I love Maine Coons. I've never met one. I've only ever seen pictures of them. I don't know if I would want one because I already have like, a, I already vacuum twice a week just to keep up with my tiny little northern breed dog. But they look so cute. <laughs> I want to meet one. Actually, you know what kind of dog I want? Um, in, in addition to the dog I already have, don't worry. I want a rough collie, like a lassie. I see two of them now. There's two different ones that like walk around the same neighborhood that I walk my dog in, and they're so beautiful. And uh, I know they need like a lot of exercise, but I, 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 I walk with my dog a lot. We go really far and we go every day, and I feel like we could, we could make it work. I, I, I think they're just gorgeous. Have you got Invincible or Mimiron? I don't have either of those. I have the Pure Blood, Pure, Pure Blood Firehawk and uh, Lifebinders Handmaiden ever since that one stream that we did where we got both of them. Computers or laptops? Uh, desktops, for sure, 100%. Um, obviously, it depends on what you're doing and what your purpose is, but if you are playing games, then you only want to be playing games on a laptop if you absolutely have to. Like, your, your desktops are just much better for that sort of thing. Having said that, I'm streaming on a laptop right now. Laptops definitely have uses, especially if you travel. Um, there's definitely a good good call for that. If I, I, li I like having a laptop in addition to a desktop because then I have one for each thing that I need to do. But I'm also kind of a computer addict. I love computers and I always want more of them. So I kind of have a problem. If you make them too big, they will break. Oh, that's good to know. I think these look about right. I'll show you guys once I've kind of gotten them on here. They look like cake pop sized, I think. I'm going to scooch them. They also, because it's chocolate cake, they kind of look like bear poop. But once we've got them like... <laughs> You know, covered in, like, the candy melt stuff and with, like, sprinkles. I'm sure it'll be fine. We have a small new one. I don't have a picture of him. I'll send you soon. Oh, did you get a kitten? I, kittens are insane. Like, I, we, got a, we adopted Kira as a kitten, and she was super cute. And she was, like, a good kitten, but, oh, my goodness, I'm so glad she grew up. <laughs> kittens are, like, the only reason kittens are so cute, because that's the only way that they'll survive until adulthood without somebody killing them because they've ruined something. They are everywhere. Although... I haven't actually had any human babies, so I wouldn't know anything about chaos, I'm sure. Okay, so that's... Let me show you. Let me show you what we did. What do we got here? So I have... So let's look about, like, the right size, don't you think? I'm going to try and, like, clean up a little bit. We've got some, we've got some bits that have fractured off. Just, like, get in there. So we're going to put those in the freezer. We're going to do them for a full 30 minutes because we're not rushing. It's Saturday. We haven't we got, we got, we got nowhere to be. I have some videos that I want to work on today, but that's a later me problem. 
Okay, so should I cut? I think I just put them in the fridge like this. I don't think I need to cover them because they're only going to be in there for half an hour. So now the moment of truth is to whether this is actually going to fit. Come on now. No, no, don't squish against the top. Let me move the cheese. Um, nope. We're going to sort this out. If you see pro frozen pizzas in my freezer, don't judge me. That's what we eat on raid nights. Oh gosh. I didn't think this through. That's pretty good, but there's no way in heck that that door is going to close. Yeah, it's not going to work. Um, um, what if it's... Do I have to put them in this way? Yeah, that's better. Ice cube tray? We did it! Okay. Um... Anyone selling monkey nuts? Isn't that the name of like a Asian food dish? Would you ever get a Bengal cat? I wouldn't. Um, I think they're very pretty. I think they're super cute. And I'm sure they're great pets for some people. But from what I understand, being a semi-exotic breed, they are a little bit more difficult to manage just on average. Okay, so I need to clean up now. Um, I don't think I need the rest of the icing. Do I just put this away? Am I going to make more of these? I feel like 12 is going to be good. I don't know what to do with this. <laughs> Let's, oh yeah, I was gonna set a timer. So 30 minutes in this. I'm gonna get this cleaned up and then I'm gonna start making some pots of tea because I want a pot of, um, I want a pot of tea and I'm gonna make one for my husband too because I think he's up. All I ever do is lose. Go big or go home. Hazel, you should make pizza dough in your mixer. Seriously, it's easy. I, okay, so here's the deal. I have made pizza dough before. Not in that mixer, but just in general. Um, and it's really good, and I love homemade pizza. Um, I usually do it with like some um, some like blue cheese and spinach and sun dried tomatoes and olives, and just kind of like Mediterranean style. But um, all of the pizza recipes I've ever made want you to bake them in a fairly hot oven. Like pizza is usually made in a fairly hot oven, like 450 degrees. And as soon as you bake something over 400 degrees in this apartment, regardless of how clean your oven is. It will set off the fire alarm without fail. And the fire alarm is very loud. It's on a vaulted ceiling, so you have to kind of like perch in a chair to turn it off. It's the worst thing ever. So I just don't bake anything that has to cook at over 400 because it's going to set off the fire alarm. It's awful. Um, and it's not just this place. It's all of them because like during dinner time, you can walk around the complex and hear the alarms going off on either side of you because it's just a fact of life, but it's awful. There's no, there's no getting around that. So once I have a place with a sane fire alarm, I will absolutely do that but I can't do it here. <laughs> is that a Cuisinart teapot? Yeah! Yeah, this is the Cuisinart. Um, I've completely forgotten what it is. Oh, CPK, CPK 17 is the model of that. Um, I love it. It's a variable temperature tea kettle, so it lets me get tea to specific, or water to specific temperatures, like 175 for green tea, 190 for oolongs, that kind of thing. Okay, so I'm going to put away half the cake. I'm not going to keep the icing because, to be honest, the icing didn't work out that well anyways. So move these in here. I actually just have a lid. I can, eh. I'm going to put this over here because it's not quite cool enough to go in the fridge yet anyways. I don't, I might end up just throwing that out. We'll see. <laughs> what do you do with half a cake that's just been like brutally stabbed? Okay. So I'm going to clean some more dishes. Did the icing turn out good? Yeah, it tastes like icing. That's the largest toaster I've ever seen. That was a wedding gift for my sister. It worked pretty good. Kitchen aid. You can cook it for 100 days, you just have to cook it for longer. Oh, that's a good idea. I try that. Should I use the camera that comes with my laptop for YouTube? You should use whatever you have available to get started. I always recommend anybody who's starting like a new hobby or practice like that, um, don't, don't go spending all of your money on equipment before you've even done it. Because you're not going to know what doing it is like until you've done it for a while. So just start with whatever you have. Make the best with what you have. And then if you like it and it's going well and you've been doing it for, you know, a couple of weeks, a couple of months, whatever, and you're, you know, you're, you're going at that point, you can decide which things to upgrade and upgrade them individually as you need to, like later. So obviously in the long term, then no, your laptop camera is going to look awful, but absolutely use it to get started and see, you know, see, see what you can do. It's, it's all about, it's all about starting and you should never 
buy the yoga mat before you've actually figured out whether or not you can do yoga, you know? Okay, so I'm going to make some room here. Get you cleaned up, and then I get to pick which kind of tea I'm going to drink. I love, I'd say this part of every day, but I do this like four times a day because I go through a lot of different kinds of tea in any given day. But I love going through my cupboard and being like, oh man, what kind of tea is, like, sometimes I kind of try and match the type of tea I'm making to the type of video that I'm making. I'm like, man, this is a this is a soothing calm pet battle video. I'm going to make um, some, you know, Bila Chun, like, white tea. I want that teapot. Tell my hubby he should buy me one, like the kettle. Yes, you do You do want it. I swear you want it. If you make um, green tea at all, it is so much easier, especially if you're making sencha, like Japanese green teas, the steamed ones. It is a thousand times easier to make them properly when you have a kettle that will just stop heating the water once it's the right temperature. You make Oregon sound like the center of the sun. It's because it's, like, it's really hot. I mean, not so much today and yesterday. It was Tuesday, Wednesday. Tuesday, Wednesday, we're like 110. Nope, 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 nope. I am from Canada, okay? Back in Canada, um, 30 degrees, which is like 80 something, was a hot day. That was like heat wave material. Everybody would go to the lake and it would happen like twice a summer. That was, that's, that's the kind of land that I come from. Okay, I don't need this. I'm sure, I'm sure I have nothing to complain about relative to like tropical countries or Arizona or any of those other places that aren't really designed to hold human life, but I'm still too hot. What's my cooking level? Uh, probably about 425. I feel like as far as cooking goes, I'm like an expansion or two behind. You should start a rap career. <laughs> I would love to start a rap career. If only I could rap, you know? Apparently, talking quickly. You know what I should do is I should just make a regular video and then put a rap beat under it and then just like auto-tune it. <laughs> Just like take an average pet battle video and then turn it into a wrap and maybe that'll convince me that I can actually do it. I just walked in. What's for dinner this time? Sup, Jonathan? We're making cake pops. We're making... I've decided they're silver moon cake pops, so there's nothing specifically wow about them aside from the fact that I've decided to call them silver moon cake pops and then I'm wearing a merlock apron. Not a merlock apron. A lion's apron. I got a merlock mug. But I'm about to make some new tea here. Are you going somewhere? Okay. I just want to know if I should make you some tea. Okay. He's up. Um, do you think that if you went to VidCon, do you think people would notice you like when Logan Paul went? I don't know who that is. Um, I don't think anybody would really notice me at VidCon because from what I understand, VidCon is less about gaming YouTube and it's more about like vloggers and stuff. And also like, I'm not even like a big gaming YouTuber. Like I'm kind of on the scene, not like top of the vid, but like I'm around when it comes to specifically wow. Like it's a niche within a niche. And I feel like I might be able to like find people and have people know who I am a little bit at BlizzCon, but at VidCon, I don't know. Um, Israel can easily get to 40 Celsius. I don't, I don't doubt it. I don't doubt it. I'm just, I'm just not used to it. I'm not used to it. As a Swede, I feel your pain, thanks. Um, I am the beast master, <laughs> feast master, oh man. Hi to Hazel's husband. You put the husband on stream. I'm going to make him some tea. Um, I'm not going to force him to go on camera at like 11 in the morning on a Saturday. Um, all right. So I've done the dishes. It's time for some tea. We need some black tea. We need some, some caffeine black tea. So we have, as far as options go, we got some Emperor's Gold. I think I made that yesterday. Actually, you know what? You know what I want? You know what I want? I want this one. This is the best one. I want my traditional... I think I've made this on, t on stream before, but this is my traditional process... Uh, Dian Hong Black Tea of Feng Ching. It's the spring 2017 harvest, and it is amazing. So I like to do this at 200 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm going to preheat two teapots because... Oh, I'm off camera. I'm going to preheat two teapots because um, I like making us one each so we can each have one at our desks. I Obviously, I'm not at my desk, so I can just have one in here. A little bit more water. Okay. It's a little warm in here from the oven, but I don't think I really roasted the place. Everybody says hi, dear. Hello. He says hi. I'm so happy that you don't know who Logan Paul is. These are all just names. Say hi to me. Your add-ons really helped me. Sup, did you, bro? How you been? 200 degrees Fahrenheit, or as we say in AZ, noon. You call 200 degrees Fahrenheit noon? What? Seriously? That's a time, man. That's a time. 
I've never heard of that. Now, is AZ Arizona? Because for a second, I, yeah, okay. I, 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 I was thinking Australia. I was thinking, man, you guys, you, you people in Australia say some weird stuff. Okay, so teapot one, teapot two. I have my, this is like my, my painted one with like the bamboo handle, but it kind of stabs me because I broke off some of the plastic that was covering like a wire thing. And then this is, this is the, the really nice one that my mother-in-law got me. Um, how much tea is in that cupboard of tea? Do you want to see? You want to see that cupboard of tea? It's uh, something, something else. Hang on, I've, I've broken this now. It's stabbing me in the face. Hi. Okay. Do you love Nick? I've never heard of any of these people. No? <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Oh, gosh. Oh, dear. Um, would you recommend Sony Vegas Pro 12 as an editor? Um, it's probably fine. I know a lot of YouTubers do use Sony Vegas. But um, I am a Adobe person forever. I'm a Premiere person through and through. I've been using Premiere, um, Premiere Elements um, for... I used Premiere Elements for, I think, four years, and then I just recently switched to Premiere Pro. And it's good stuff. In Ontario, it's 18 <laughs> degrees. See, that sounds fine. I mean, it's a little chilly. Seriously, it's 18 degrees in August in Ontario? I guess it depends on where in Ontario you are. I've only ever visited Toronto. I went to Toronto in June one year, and, um, and it was probably 35, but it was so humid and muggy that it was almost impossible to be outside. Return of the yell. It is green. This is a green teapot. Green. Green. This is yellow. This is a yellow cloth. This is a green teapot. They are different colors. I promise you. I want to see show us. Oh yeah, the, the, the tea cupboard. All right. So, let's see here. It's kind of going to be hard to see. So the tea cupboard is the one on the very far left underneath the oatmeal box. Uh, and you can't see it because of the way the cupboard opens. I can't move this any farther out. And if I pick up the camera, I'm never going to be able to put it back. But basically, we have... A variety of bags. I have some of these washi tin canisters. You know, we got like some big canisters and some medium canisters. I have like six or seven of like the Harney ones. Um, this is where I keep all of my Genmaicha. Some more bigger ones. I'm not going to take it all out, but suffice to say that it's, it's a lot of tea. <laughs> Bye, Eileen. See you later, Eileen. Okay, let me put most of this back. I'm drinking that one. I don't need to put that one back. All right. So, which one do I do first? I'll probably do this one first. Um, this is the tea strainer that came with the yellow teapot. And I love it because it's like really, really fine mesh. And it's completely rigid um, stainless steel which means that it doesn't let any of your tea through. And it fits with like every cup, mug, and teapot that I've ever owned. So I just use it with everything now. That's a lot of tea. Yeah, I went through a phase where I was just kind of collecting tea. And you know, I think the problem was that this tea, the, the leaves of this are so big that you, ca you can't really use a spoon. So I usually just kind of use a clean hand and like pinch them out. Probably about that much, maybe a little bit more. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, the tea thing. I was I made the mistake of like participating in online tea communities. And as fun as that is, and as much as you learn about different kinds of tea, basically what happens is somebody comes online, they're like, oh man, I had this particular like 1998 poor tea from this from this place and they did this thing to it and it would it made me feel like I won the lottery. And you'd be like, oh man, that's great. And then you would want to have like that tea or a tea like it. And it just got me really obsessed with trying to collect one of every type of tea, which is just financially infeasible. So I'm going to do that for two minutes. We're going to do the second one for three minutes. Oh no. Oh no. I don't know how much time was left on that. Oops. I'm going to give him another 10 minutes. So 10 minutes there. And then I'll have this one remind me when my tea is done. Although it's probably like one and a half minutes now. Because, eh, two. She called it a yellow. I used air quotes. I used air quotes. I am, I am being facetious. Um, all my tea is in those boxes that you buy in the store. That is a perfectly good place to start. I drank tea out of boxes that I bought in the store for years and years and years and years and years. It is only recently that I got into more of the loose leaf stuff. And honestly, sometimes I still like tea from just like a, a tea bag in a box. It's just what you're in the mood for, you know? 
So normally I use one of these little things to put like my tea on, take it out. Also, I'm going to need to put on more water because I'm making the second pot of tea. Um, but the nice thing about like these loose leaf teas, the really nice ones, is that you can re-steep them usually between two and five times, depending on what kind of tea it is and how much water you're using. Um, if, you're, if you're doing it like Gong Fu style in like a really tiny, like a Gai Wan, like a really small teapot, you can do a lot more than that. But for this kind of Western style teapot, I can usually do, go between two and five steeps. So one thing of tea is going to make a pot for me. It's going to make a pot for him. It's going to make my second pot for me for later. Um, I'm a simple man. English breakfast suits me fine. I have always, I've always liked English breakfast. I never really did the Earl Grey thing. Earl Grey tea always tasted like pepper to me. But maybe I just never had good Earl Grey. Maybe I should go back and try it. All right, so that's approximately cool enough for me to put away. We've got... I like having the, the Tupperware that has the lid attached because I don't have to mess around with them. Um, I don't have to mess around with plastic wrap, you know? My fridge is not terribly organized. We never have so much stuff in my fridge that I actually have to organize my fridge, so it ends up being just like a giant mess. Um, do you like Roblox? I've I've not I've not heard of I've not heard of or seen them either, and that's not a knock against anybody that I've not heard or seen of. I just don't watch a lot of YouTube, um, or at least I don't watch like a lot of new YouTube. I tend to kind of stick to the people that I already watch. All right, so in about ten minutes, that's gonna be done. So once those are done, we're gonna need to melt some chocolate. So oh, that's my tea, tea timer. Ah, uh, there we go. So we take this out. I'm going to pick out a teacup for him and can have. This one. Choosing the right teacup is a very personal choice. I'll be right back. Thank you. You're welcome. And water's ready to make another one. Uh, it all works out. So basically, what I'm thinking of doing next is for coating the for coating the cake pops, we're going to be using the Wilton candy melts that I got. But for um, cementing the lollipop sticks in them with chocolate, I'm actually just going to use white chocolate chips. I have here like leftover white chocolate chips that I use for making those um, double chocolate cookies that we actually did in the first ever baking stream. I only ever use like two thirds of a bag for that. So I always end up with like these extra third of a bag's worth of white chocolate chips. So I'm just going to put some in a bowl. Um, probably more than we need, but don't really, don't really need much from these. Next playable race that you want. Um, I want them to do sub races. I want them to do visual sub races for all the existing races, but I understand why they might be hesitant to do another thing that's like, m like it, the, the, the art of it multiplies because you're doing it for like every different thing. I don't know if it would be more work for them to add on just like a different reskin onto existing animations for like the however many races we have, like 12, 10. Or if it would be better for them to make one or two, I guess it would be two because Horde and Alliance, brand new races with brand new animations. I don't know which one would be harder for them. Um, but I would like to see the sub-races thing done. I think it would be really neat to have each race have one extra option that you could be, like a dwarf or a dark iron dwarf. You know, you could be a Torin, or you could be um, either like one of the high mountain ones or a Tonka from like Northrend, you know? I'm going to add a couple extra. Like I said, I have I have tons of these like half bag, third bag of white chocolate chips just like left over. Sometimes I snack on them if I'm just like, I, like I just want candy, but I never buy candy because, well, I don't often buy candy because it's not something I usually eat. But if it's, you know, sometimes, sometimes you just put like some white chocolate chips in a bowl and you live your life. All right. So I'm going to just melt these in the microwave. I think like those were starting to firm up. So I think by the time that we're done... Getting this together. We should be about ready to get the sticks in there. Because then after we get the sticks in there, we're just going to put them back in the freezer for another 15 minutes. Celestial tea, that's all I've tried. Celestial seasonings. Celestial seasonings makes a perfectly good, like, sleepy time tea. And I like their herbal holiday stuff, too. Um, but herbal tea, it's like its own thing. It doesn't have the caffeine. I'm a little bit of a caffeine addict. Where I lost my twist tie. I, I, I lost my twist tie. Where did I, go? Where'd I put it? Do I have more? Well, did I ever have a twist? I mean, oh, here it is. I found it. It's yellow. I want Torin with antlers, right? I love your tea obsession. Want to meet up in WoW sometime. I'm always happy to meet other tea lovers, but I don't have any plans to to make any more in-game friends. I can barely keep up with the ones that I have. Um, you keep some dark chocolate kisses in a bowl for that reason. You don't often crave sweets, but when I do, one will do me. Oh, that's a good idea. The dark chocolate is good because that's kind of like 
almost more satisfying. Like one kind of, you're set, you know? Okay, so now with my tea done. Mm. Lid. I need a cup. I think I want to use this one. Um, I don't remember which one of you it was, but somebody told me to go to the... Oh, hi, Kat. Hi. You want to say hi? Someone told me to go to the Chinese tea gardens, or Chinese garden in Portland. And we actually went last weekend, I think. And uh, we didn't end up getting tea because it was like a really hot day out. And I'd already, like, had, it was just tea by the Tao of tea, so I've already been to their tea rooms. But it was, uh, it was a really beautiful garden. We should all be Tuscar. <laughs> oh, man, I would like that. I must say this is amazing watching someone who plays WoW also cooking pie. Yo, we're doing cake pops today. Okay, Katie, I'm going to put you down now. Oh, there you go. Good cat. Thanks. Okay, did I melt these yet? I think I need to stab them with, like, a spoon. Huh. They've, like, produced brown sugar. That's weird. I think I burned them. Kind of smells burnt. <laughs> I think I was supposed to be stirring this. Oh, dear. I'm going to start over. I did this wrong. I'm going to start over. <laughs> I, I have I have managed to make like burnt oh gosh I should um, do something to keep the smoke away from the fire detector. Uh, sound in your lip moves are not the same a thing. Yeah, it's not going to be quite in sync. If it was always offset by the same amount, that would be fine. But the offset likes to change. I want to thank you for helping me in WoW and being amazing in general, and I love your cat. Meet up so I can give you 200k gold. Oh, that's very sweet. That's very sweet. You don't need to do that, though. Um, if you do coffee, try using a Chemex coffee maker. I have never heard of that. Thanks. How did I burn chocolate? All right, well, let's try again. Um, you know what I'm going to do instead? Because I don't. I was thinking of setting up like a double boiler because I know that's how you're actually supposed to melt chocolate, but I've never done that before and I don't think I have the equipment for it. I have, let's use a bigger, no, I need it to be a pretty small container so I can actually like dip the sticks in. Let's use, here, I'm going to clean this. We're just going to do it again, but in like smaller increments. We'll do it for like five seconds and then stir and then five seconds and then stir. I did it for like a minute and that was way too much. Do you like to PVP in WoW still? I would love to PVP, but I can't. It's a binary thing for me. It's either I do it or I do it and I do it a lot, like every day for hours and hours at a time. Or I don't play at all, and I decided to not play at all. I can't, I can't do it casually. I'm like psychologically incapable. Um, which play button do you want the most? Silver, gold, diamond? There's a ruby one? Is that new? From what I've heard, the silver ones, like, they're supposed to send them out, but I've heard that they don't. <laughs> I've heard from a couple of different YouTubers that were supposed to have them. They just haven't gotten them. All right, so we're going to start over with the white chocolate chips. We're going to do it for five seconds at a time, and I'm going to have some tea, because maybe I can just blame the whole chocolate burning thing on the lack of tea. It's a baking stream. I never said I was good at it. Some more of these. If you have two saucepans that fit inside each other, that would work for a double boiler. Yeah. I don't really, though. And also, they're really big, and I only need to melt, like, this much chocolate. And if it's, like, really flat in, like, a really big container, it's going to be really hard to do the stick dipping thing I need to do. So we're just going to do this for very short increments of time at a time, and then stir it. I'm going to stir it with, like, a toothpick. So let's do this for five seconds. So I know it says 30, but I'm going to take it out after five. Okay. And then we're going to stir. I'm going to grab a specific chocolate toothpick. I swear I've done this before. All right. So that didn't do anything because that was only five seconds. I guess that they're a little mushy. And... Another five, maybe ten. Six, seven? <laughs> We're gonna figure this out. Oh, thanks, Kaboom Doc. Add some water. Water? Water? I guess that would stop it from. Like, I'm afraid that if I add water, it's not gonna have the same. Why am I using a toothpick? That was a dumb idea. Um, I'm afraid that if I add water, it's not gonna have the same cementing properties that I need to have it to have to attach the sticks to the cake pops. But this is starting to like mush up a little bit. As long as I stir it, and then we're going to do it for like another seven. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think I just did it for way too long that first time. Yeah, this is this is better. This is actually working. <laughs> the leaf on her back is a Canadian maple leaf. That's true. Although we it's still we still have Canadian maple trees here. There's not as many of them. They're everywhere at home. Water will make the chocolate seize. Yeah, see, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> but this is starting to look pretty melted. I bet if I did it for... Eh, you know what? This is actually good. We want it to be pretty stiff. I want it to be pretty stiff, so we're just going to mix it up here. Get our lollipop sticks ready. So yeah, this is melted. Good enough. Have a little bit of tea. You get the ruby play button when you have 50 million subscribers. Oh yeah, so that's like next for me then. <laughs> that's like any minute now. Alright. So we got some cake pops. This is a thoroughly cold metal sheet. So that's a good sign. This one kind of fell apart. Um, I'm going to try and mush it back together. <laughs> but the rest of these seem pretty stiff. So we're not actually dipping them yet. What we're doing right now is we're making the sticks go in. So I have the sticks here somewhere. Um, here they are. They came as part of my cake pop stick. You're making me hungry, Hazel. Got a copper fit pan? What is a copper fit pan? What does that do? Okay. So. These are plastic. I feel like the cardboard ones would be fine. I'm going to dip them, like, dip it pretty far in. And then I just stab, right? Do you think I should make pilot holes? Stab. Do you think we should do, like, a pilot hole where I, like, stab it first so I have a place to put it in? I think that's a good idea. I'm going to, like, hold this together and make a hole. Good. And then... I, I melted way too much chocolate. Goodness gracious. And then go in. Hopefully that's good enough. I think that's right. This looks like the right thing. <laughs> We're watching Hazel, the red ones. Dip sticks in chocolate before dipping them in cake. Yeah, we're doing that. No, no water. We did, we did not add water. At no point did we add water. Or maybe you're saying, no, you want us to add water. <laughs> we're going to find out. If this doesn't go well, then I'll know what to do differently for next time. But dip in chocolate. Dip in cake. Pretty good. I'm concerned that I added too much icing to the cake just because they form balls a little bit too easily. And typically, whenever I'm making a thing that requires me to form a thing like that, it never happens easily. So I think maybe we'll see what the texture is like later. Okay, there's like a lot of extra chocolate kind of like on top of the cake pop, but I feel like that's okay. I feel like it's okay for there to be extra. Actually, you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to pre-stab all the holes at once to save me some time. Pre-stab, pre-stab. I think I'm stabbing these too deep. I'm stabbing them like almost all the way through and that's probably not right. Probably don't want that. Dip in chocolate. Yeah, oh, oh, tripped. <laughs> tripped. No water at all, it'll make the chocolate. Yeah, so we have not added any water. You look like the girl from Despicable Me. <laughs> You're not wrong. Um, I hope you enjoyed the picture of Mischief with my headset on that I tweeted you. He's very photo loving. I'll have to look at that once we're done with the stream here. That sounds awesome. Okay. Good. You know, I'm feeling pretty good about this. I feel like this is going to go better than the whole Bloodberry Tart thing. <laughs> I feel like we're off to a good start. Also, 12 seems to be the right number. I feel like more would have been just way too many. Way too many pops. I don't know if I'm supposed to keep the plastic sticks and like clean and reuse them, or if that's a really terrible idea, and I should just buy disposable sticks whenever I want to do this and throw these ones out. They didn't say that they were reusable, but they didn't say that they weren't. I'm erring on the side of more chocolate rather than less chocolate, because I really want these to stay. <laughs> I really want them to stay. I know that one of them at least is going to like fall off while I'm trying to dip it. And it's going to be a problem. Something different about Hazel today. Um, is it my in the increasing frazzledness of my hair? Because that sounds about right. It's a little humid in here. There we go. Also, my hair doesn't even need humidity to, to go everywhere. Uh, they look good. I might need to make some. Yeah, this has actually been surprisingly easy so far. We'll see when I'm actually at the end of it if I've ruined anything. But so far, so far we're in good shape. Also, I've never eaten one. What if I eat it and it's just like, man, I may as well have just had a cupcake. Like, that would have been way easier. All right, so we've got all the sticks in. I think we just need to put it back in the freezer. Although, it's occurred to me, I had room for them before. I don't know if I have room for them with the sticks. I might need to move some stuff again. I have this huge bag of vegetables. I should have eaten more vegetables. This is the universe telling me that I should do that. Um, I'll worry about that in a minute. Let's just see if we can get these in here. 
Oh, it's so tall. They're so tall. Can I lay them on their sides? Can I just like flop them over? Is that going to be okay? See, the, the, the chocolate's like already solid. I'm going to try and flop them over a little bit so that we can actually put them back in the freezer. Because there's no way. If I had a chest freezer, it would be one thing, but I don't. And they're not, they're not going to fit in there. Pardon me? I can't hear you. Hang on. Um, even, even, even if I did, do, even if I did throw some stuff out for the freezer, I don't think I would, uh, I don't think they would fit with the stick standing up. So we're just going to like lay them down, you know, for a good nap. Easy mode icing might be just make a ganache. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm going easiest mode icing where I bought like the candy melt thing, but you might be right. You might be right. So we put this in here and then we use this to support it. So it stays mostly up and all right, good. So how long do those need to set for another, like what, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, 20? I think I can turn the fan off now. I think we're going to go for like 20 minutes just to be on the safe side of things. And then after that, we're going to be dipping. And then after we dip, we're going to like throw on some sprinkles and then be done. Um, fix toast, fix toast. Oh, for like a snack. You're hungry. <laughs> No more gambling away the nuts for me. Oh man. How do you feel about having a 53k plus one? Aw, oh, thanks. Mm. I mean, as far as like actual day to day, it doesn't feel any different from having 10 or 20k. <laughs> I'm still working just as hard as I was back then. Um, 15 minutes and then take out like six. Oh, that's a good idea. That's a good idea. Cause then um, it's probably gonna take me a little while to like dip them and whatever. So do that. Um, in about 15 or so, we'll start melting this thing. I'm assuming that actually these should have instructions because this is like branded candy melt microwave container and branded candy melt thing. So I'm assuming that these aren't going to burn on me. All right, in this container, microwave one package at half power for one minute. Stir and then do it in 30 second intervals. Okay. All right. So half power, which is important because then the microwave will be like doing this thing where it like turns off and on. Oh man, you're back. Welcome back, Jessica. We have our, so the cake pops are in the freezer. They have the sticks in them and we're just waiting for them to harden up a little bit before we melt the stuff that we're going to dip them in. Can you play Roblox? <laughs> no, no, no. I'm not, I'm not picking up new games. I used to make them and then sell them. Oh, so you're like the expert then. You know all the tricks. I have like these little bags to put over the top of them. I guess if we're going to pass them out to like friends and whatever, as opposed to just eating 12 cake pops between the two of us, that's probably a good idea. I'll put those aside for later. Just like a tiny bit of that. This is like the, the stand stand for later. I guess I can... What do I do with like most of a thing of melted white chocolate? Do I have any fruit? Of course I don't have any fruit. I have apples. It's <laughs> a bad idea. Uh... I have to go now. Stay awesome, everyone. See you later. Have a good day. Upgraded to cake pop. Sunshine. Yeah. Well, that was good. I'm going to put this over here so I don't have to make that decision. All right. It also, the kit also included like a weird like scoop drizzle thing. Oh, that's what we should do. And after we've dipped them, we should like use the scoop and like drizzle a little bit more of the white chocolate over top of like the candy stuff and then put on the sprinkles. We got plan. We got a plan, which means that I, this needs to, I guess I can remelt it. I guess I can remelt this later. That seems about the right stuff. Maybe I'll add the rest of this stuff actually when we get around to doing that and then remelt it. Okay. I'm gonna clean up a little bit. We can pull the stool back in here and have some tea and then chat a little bit more. Um, I'm gonna wipe up the counter though because I have managed to get icing sugar everywhere. There we go. Stuff, stuff, stuff. If these turn out well, then we're going to have to try at some point to decorate them more intentionally because now I have like this whole cake pop kit and to be fair, it cost me like $13, but now I have like this whole cake pop kit and it would be a shame that if this does go well, if we never do it again, like I think you can fill them, like you can make cake pops that you've filled with like extra like ganache or like jam or something. Who is the guy that tells you to put your hands on things? What was his name? Was that Wolfie something or like the, the something wolf? 
My teddy bear is watching you. Oh man. What are you making on the next cooking stream? We are going to be doing dollar on brownies. That has been decided. Um, the vote for patrons happens usually in the last week of the month, and they decide w what are going to be the two streams of that month. So cake pops were actually a leftover from last time because they tied with the tart. And then um, and then dollar on brownies were the other winner for this month. So next poll will be open for the last week of August, deciding what we're going to do in September. Hey, Katie. What's up? Every now and then, she doesn't do this when I'm normally cooking, but every now and then if I'm doing the thing where I'm talking to you guys, she'll just come in here and stare at me like, what are you doing? Why? <laughs> Why have you lost it? So, oh yeah, I was supposed to throw this out. This is, this is a big mess. This is like the, the leftover icing that we were mixing with this stuff. I'm going to try and clean this up a little bit. I might need this later. It like congealed into a big icing monster. It's kind of scary. For most of it. As a younger me probably would have tried to like eat all of the extra icing and chocolate, but I've found out that I'm not actually allergic to baking. I just get sick if I eat like a huge amount of sugar. So it's probably best to just not even try. Whew. You only missed one step for the cake pop balls. You're supposed to roll them in your hands and make them smooth. Oh, uh, that would have been a good idea. We didn't do that. Um, they're not horrendously not smooth, but you're right for next time for sure. Can finally make a live stream again. Sapphire dress. How you doing? I think it was Wolfie. Yeah, the name. It has something to do with a wolf. Kitty wants the YouTube fame. I swear, Kitty's more famous than me. I feel like people come for Kitty more than they do for me. Like on the stream, it's just it's all about the cat cam. All about the cat cam. Hey, Eula, what's up? Nobody's ever called me Eula before. You should use Pixie Lab for making thumbnails. It's a free app. I use Photoshop. <laughs> I feel like I can do anything in Photoshop that Pixie Labs would want to do. I like my thumbnails. I think my recent ones are fine. I'm pretty happy with them. Obviously, I want to keep improving and getting better at it, but I think for now we're doing all right. They have character. Thank you, Seth. I think so, too. My kitchen kind of smells like a like a cake fairyland. There's just like, like vanilla icing everywhere. Okay. I want to do more PTR raid testing over the weekend because I didn't really get good footage of any of the bosses they tested this week. Um, they're, they, they were big, big, I talked about this a bit in the vlog, but there were huge frame rate issues with the last two. So I specifically want to see if they fix that in order to do it normal. So if tomorrow morning, if by tomorrow morning I still haven't been able to get on the PTR and find a group for that, I might do another stream like I did last week where we get people in from the stream to help me test the raids on the PTR. Um, and we'll do like camera in between kills and whatnot and before and after, but we'll do no cam during so we can actually get some footage to use in videos. I might do that tomorrow morning, depending on whether or not I can get it done before then. Your eyes seem prominent on the stream. It's probably just something to do with the way I've done lighting or makeup. I didn't like pull them out of my head or anything. Um, is Photoshop free? It is not. <laughs> it is super not free. Um, the only reason I have Photoshop is because it's part of my Creative Cloud membership, which gets me my, my um, photo, or it gets me my Premiere, which is my video editing software. Um, it gets me After Effects, which I've been using for like additional video effects. Um, it gets me Animate, which uh, I've been practicing, I've been like playing with to try and do 2D animations at some, some point. Um, I also have been messing around with Illustrator to try and make some new graphics. I'm not very good with it yet, but I'm working on it. Um, all sorts of software, but it's a, it's a subscription. It's 50 bucks a month to get all of it. It's quite a bit. Kim is though. I used paint.net for thumbnails for a long time as a free as a free piece of software before I got Photoshop. Um, GIMP is also free. That's another good one. That's four times I lost in a row enough for me. Norma, every time you lose, you say that you're done. Want to make sure that you don't get any moisture at all in the candy melts because it will cause it to separate and become icky. They did say that on the bag, actually. They said don't get any moisture in it, so we're going to be careful not to do that, or at least we're going to try our best. <laughs> Interesting fact, I auto-tuned you and it actually <laughs> slowed you down. Not terribly surprising, actually. Sometimes um, sometimes what I'll do if I'm like really excited about the video that I'm making is that I'll record it and I'll intentionally speak at a higher pitch for the entire video. And then I go into my software <laughs> and I slow it down and then the pitch compensates back down to a normal pitch of voice and like a normal speed because it's easier for me to speak at a higher pitch than it is for me to speak slowly. <laughs> I love your arm tattoo, but it reminds me of grayscale, and I'm afraid it will keep growing. <laughs> I mean, it's a valid fear. I would love to get more tattoos one day, so in a sense, it would be growing, but I'm probably not going to die. 
Um, you paused my Portlandia binge. I've never watched that, should I? I've been living in Portland for, well, around Portland for a couple of years now, and uh, I've never seen it. If you need it thinner, you can add a little coconut oil or shortening. I don't have coconut oil, and I don't know if, uh, actually, I have coconut oil, but it's like coconut oil that I've been using as moisturizer, and I don't think it would be necessarily hygienic to use the same container, because I may or may not have stuck fingers in there. How do you do lighting? Um, it depends on which, like for the kitchen right now, I have one big box light pointed like right at me. It's from basically behind the camera. Um, in my office, when I'm doing like the regular WoW streams or the vlogs or whatnot, I have two big like umbrella lights that are kind of at me from both angles. Um, and then I have blackout curtains to stop the light from the window from getting in. Digital slowing doesn't change pitch. Uh, I disagree. You can, you can control for pitch when you do digital slowing, but that will distort the sound a little bit. So I find if I want to have an undistorted sound when I digitally slow, it is going to change the pitch. Um, it's very funny if you're familiar with Portland. Maybe I should check it out then. Okay, so in 10 minutes, we're going to take that out. I guess I can sit and hang out for like 5 to 10 minutes, and then we're going to start melting the candy melts. So what I want to know is what are you guys most excited for in 7.3? Of all the stuff that's coming in 7.3, what thing are you specifically looking forward to the most? Hang on, I need to sit on my, I need to sit on my stool and then get my tea, otherwise I am gonna pour that all over myself. Oh, yeah. This is so far away, I need like my glasses. Everyone wants to talk like they got something to say. Are you quoting a song right now? Have you seen the short movie in a heartbeat? It is so sweet. I have not seen it. Is it like an animated or is it just like a like a live action short? It's essentially a parody of uber hipsterism. Yeah. See, I, I appreciate hipster culture. I'm not like full hipster myself, but I see them doing their thing and I'm like, you know what? You follow your heart. Pets and mounts. Mm -hmm. There's so many, there's so many. Um, I don't know when I'll be done, hopefully by Monday, but um, a video going over all of the new pets and like ranking them. Um, I wasn't sure for a while if I should be ranking them in terms of usefulness or like visual coolness because I, f I find there's like two audiences of people that have pets. Like there's people that collect them because they look cool and then there's people that collect them to use in battle and then there's people that do both like me, but I've, I've kind of amalgamated the scores. I have the same bar stools. Yeah, I only have the one of them. I bought it on Amazon for like 30 bucks because I just, I needed a stool to sit on while I was um, doing these streams because I got very exhausted standing up for a while. It's been a while since I've had to stand up all day. So it's, it's a lot easier if I can just hang out um, on a stool. But I only got the one of them because I only needed the one of them. And it's actually worked out really well because I'll also drag it into the bathroom if I'm like spending some time styling my hair and I want to actually sit down. Do you make money on YouTube brackets a lot? I make enough money to feel like I'm not completely wasting my time. I would not say that I make a lot of money. I make less money than the person who makes your coffee at Starbucks. I make less money than the janitor that's cleaning your school. I make less money than pretty much most people that have jobs, but it's, it's enough. And if I work really hard, it, I can probably grow it. Um, if it weren't for you guys to support me on Patreon, this would not be feasible in the slightest. Um, the new pets and mounts can't wait to do no Muragon. But there's, there's, no, there's no no Muragon dungeon. There's a new tamer in no Muragon, if that's what you mean. There's um, Environeer Bert. He's a new tamer that waits outside of No Morgon, but they have not at this time actually added No Morgon as a pet battle dungeon, unless I missed it. Um, I don't think they did. Mm. It's animated and it's on YouTube. You should look it up in your spare time. No, I will. That was called, it's called, um, I remember. I'm gonna scroll up a little bit and try to remember. Uh, in a heartbeat, okay. I'm trying to trick Hazel into rapping. <laughs> uh, good try. Pets in the Mountains in the story. Pets in the Mountains in quests. Portlandia is the bane of my existence as an Oregonian that no longer lives in state. Oh, I didn't think that every Oregonian is like that. Well, that's silly. I came from I came from um, Vancouver Island on Canada, and now that I'm here, a lot of people will ask me you know, what's it like? Was there like a lot of culture shock? I'm like, this is exactly the same place. <laughs> it's hotter here. Um, there are some minor cultural differences with Americans versus Canadians, but it's not like I moved very far. Things are pretty much the same. Most people don't even notice my accent. Um, you should make a baking stream and bake for your cat. <laughs> what would I bake for my cat? Kitty eats cat food and she eats cat treats that we buy her, but we've never given her like non-cat food. I guess I could look up like a cat treat recipe like some kind of thing like I have a friend that makes dog treats for her dogs she'll like bake pumpkin stuff but I don't know if my cat would eat something like that 
I guess we never know if we didn't try. Uh, what do you think the most fun bosses for the new raid, uh, so from what you've seen so far? Oh, that's hard. There's some really fun stuff. Um, there's some really fun stuff. My, my experiences are biased because I'm remembering these fights as I did them with other people. And I like the fights that I did with the cool people more than I like the fights that I did with the somewhat toxic pugs. So that's hard. That's really hard. Um, also, I don't really want to spoil anything. Can we see your pets? Um, I had the cat up earlier. Um, if you want to see them, honestly, the best bet is to check out my Instagram. I don't like making them do anything if they're not in the mood, so I'm not going to like go, go grab them. Um, what do you think about doing a pet review series? Short, super short video on each pet in the game, abilities, and breed recommendations. It's not a bad idea, but the problem with that is that there's like 900 pets in the game, and that that's not information that a lot of people would be looking for, so it's not going to be as relevant to as much of my audience as I would like. Like, there's... It's, it, it's, it's a good idea as a reference material, but it's gonna be, it would be super time intensive and it's not really gonna be a priority, I don't think. I found this channel because of Overwatch. It is remarkable that you're still here that I haven't made any Overwatch content in quite a while. I still play Overwatch and I love it, but I found that people tend to watch more when I make WoW videos, so I've been tending to stick towards that. How do you tag videos? Uh, you, you write tags and you put them in the tag field when you upload it. Um, if you're asking how to pick your tags, then that's a little bit of common sense, a little bit of guessing, and a little bit of um, trends research on um, Google Trends. Have you managed to defeat that secret boss in Nomer? It's crazy hard. Are you talking about like a pet thing or um, what? Because I've never heard of this. I'm watching Hazel's tea waiting for it to spill. I feel bad. You know, it's you, you probably got like 30% odds of seeing this spill. Mostly because I'm distracted. I don't normally spill from this particular teacup, but it's very easy for me to get distracted and then just like dump it all over myself. My favorite. You're from Canada? I knew a guy from there. His name was Mike or something. He lived in Toronto. <laughs> I like to reply with, I know Mike, sorry I passed away. Yeah. I don't actually get too many, too much of that. I feel like people, it's, people have clued in that Canada's like a really big country and that you're not going to know somebody else that was from the same place. There's a very small button in the last boss's room that triggers level 110 boss. He's crazy hard when he first came out. Oh yeah, I do remember that. I went and did that with my guild. I don't remember why we were doing it. There was like an achievement or a toy or like a transmog or something. I do, I do remember doing that. I have done that. Um, it was a while ago, though. Or maybe we went to try and do it, and it wasn't doable at the time. Or we just couldn't do it, and then we gave up. It's been a while. It's been a while. I see. Asmongold's got a vid on it. It's insanely hard. I see. People say everyone in Canada says A. You don't know anyone who says that here? I mean, it's, I've heard it before, but it's not something that happens, like, constantly. And I think it depends on where regionally in Canada you're from. People always ask me if I miss having bagged milk, and I tell them I've never seen bagged milk in my entire life. I think that's an East Coast thing. I don't think we have that in the West Coast. My wife is Canadian from the Toronto area, and we live in the San Francisco Bay Area. Goodness. San Francisco looks so beautiful, but it's so expensive. Um, let's see. From Canada, I don't say it. It's a weird thing to open a conversation with. It's, it's like, it's not, like, unless it's imminently relative, relative, relevant, unless it's, like, immediately relevant to what you're doing or what's going on, or it comes up, it's, it, you don't go, like, hi, I'm from X place, like, it's not really part of the conversation. All right, so we have about three minutes until those should be, hopefully, um, solid enough to do the dipping thing. So I'm going to start melting the candy melts very carefully so we don't light anything on fire this time. Okay. Mm. It's warm in here now. All right, so we got the thing. We got the stuff, making a bunch of noise. Okay, and a microwave safe container, which is the thing that they gave me that they assured me is microwave safe. Melt one package, half power for one minute. All right, half power for one minute, I can do that. Where'd my scissors go? Got them. I'm from Canada and I don't say it, Michigan or up north say it. See, I used to say I didn't say a boot, but everybody has said that I do and they can't all be wrong. So maybe just like when I've been drinking or like get excited or something. All right, this whole package is not actually going to fit. So I'm going to put most of it in there. These things are weird. They're like little little disks. All right, so one minute, half power. Half power. Cooking power, 50%. Cook time, cook time. One minute. All right, that should be good. I think bagged milk is an age thing. I'm in BC and I remember having it as a kid. Okay. What are you reading the chat from? Um, I have a laptop right here. Um, I also had a tablet that was over there that let me do it while I was 
um, looking at that counter, but I think I accidentally closed it when I started setting timers. I can pull back up again, though. Um, they assured me that it's microwave safe. Hazel, the fire department. I mean, I'm right here. It's not like I'm setting it up and then going to go play WoW. That, that is how you start fires, is when you lose track of the thing that you're cooking because you've been playing video games. It seems, it seems to be just fine. You missed fire. It wasn't exactly fire. Um, there was no, like, flames. There was no visible smoke. But I did manage to make a charred mess out of some white chocolate chips. I microwaved them for too long, and on the bottom they were, like, burned. We got the thing, and we got the stuff. That's how I describe everything. And I feel like I kind of want to do a series of sort of satirical lore videos. I don't want to piss off anybody that's actually, like, into lore, because lore is great. There's nothing wrong with it. It's a super cool story, but I have kind of a derpy view of it. Okay, so now I need to... Where'd my spoon go? And I think it would be funny to just do lore as I see it with, like, the dude doing, like, the thing with that other dude. You know? I think that would be funny. Okay, so now that this is melted down, I can add the rest of it. We'll do that. I think I'm going to add it, do it for, like, another... I said 30 second increments. Continue microwave and stir. 30 seconds. Okay. So I'm going to put this in for... I'll do it for 20 seconds because I'm going to do it on full power. No, that timer is just for the freezy thing, so it doesn't matter. They can stay in there a little longer if they need to. 20 seconds. And then stir it. And then, basically, what we're going to do is we're going to take the cake pops out of the freezer, dip them in the stuff, stick them on there, and then we're going to reheat the white chocolate, try and drizzle it on top. Oh, no, we need to let... No, we don't need to let that harden. We need to add the... No. Sprinkles. Maybe I, maybe I skipped the white chocolate? I, don't, I have sprinkles. <laughs> we're putting at least something on top of these things. All right. So this is almost good. This looks like it's a really good consistency, which it should be because this is exactly what it's been designed for. Mm. All right, that is some thoroughly melted, bright pink, uh, melty, dippy, melty stuff. So I'm going to throw this over here, grab our cake pops. We're going to pray that they stick to their sticks. And we're just going to go ahead and start dipping. So step one, two, three. All right. Well, it's a stick. I feel like it's going to fall apart. I don't want to start with that one. I'm scared. Uh, one swift. Well, not too swift. Oh, gosh. It's so much. This thing looks so derby. How do I get ex I extra on top? Do I use a spoon? Do I just, like, dip it a little more? There we go. Sure. Why not? It's, it's on, you know, it didn't break off, it didn't fall in. I think I made these too big, and you're totally right, I should have rolled them in my hands. I think I can actually smooth them a little bit, as long as I don't heat them up too much. Let's smooth them out a little bit more and make them a little bit more circular. And then in, out, twirl, oh gosh. They, they, they're losing their hats, <laughs> if that makes any sense. They don't need to look perfect, they just need to be good enough. Oh, I was supposed to only take out six of them, whoops, forgot. Whoopsie daisies. I want to like twirl them, but I don't want to like twirl it off its stick. <laughs> Totes, you're totally right. I missed the step where I rolled them to make them smooth. These kind of look like miniature apples, actually. Um, despite Canada's size, there aren't many people there. It's true. There's about. Is it? Is it? I don't remember if it's nine Americans to every one Canadian, or it's ninety. Oh, oh, I lost one. 99 Americans to everyone. Oh, no, we're doom. <laughs> doom! Doom, 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 doom. I'm going to put this over here and figure out what to do with it later. Let's just fish that out. <laughs> I was I was trying to chat at the same time. I'm going to be more careful than that. All right. Doom. <laughs> they, can't, they can't all be perfect. I'm not convinced that... Oh, oh, oh. Oh, no. Oh, no! Is it because I took them out? Of the, of the, of the, uh, what do you call it? Freezer? All at once? Because I, I haven't even gone through six yet. <laughs> this is just a giant mess of, like, candy cake. Oh. Def do the double dip. Okay. Yeah, I've watched, um, I've watched Ro, Ro uh, Nerdy Nummies before. I used to make stuff from her videos all the time. All right, let's. You know, I think I need to reheat this. I think this has gotten too thick and it's like breaking up. I think it's breaking up the uh, stuff. Also, there's like cake in it. Get out of that cake. Um, so let's... 
Let's heat it up a little bit more. Just like a little bit. And then hopefully we're gonna do it in 15 seconds. Hopefully the extra liquidness. 10 times more people in the US? I knew it was one of those numbers. Would you visit Scotland? I would love to visit a lot of places. On our live stream today, Hazel makes three whole cake pops, right? This is, this is about to be a disaster. I'm going to do the most promising ones first, promising looking ones first, in hopes that that um, makes this better. I figured one package of candy melts would be more than enough for a dozen. Also, there's cake now in the, the candy mix, so these other ones are not going to look as good. But you know what? We're not selling them. We're just believing in ourselves and doing our best over here. You know, if I, if I lose another one, then I'm going to just do the drizzle thing, because I think it's the dipping motion that's really really dooming us here and they're not going to look all that good anyways <laughs> only those first three are going to look good the rest of them are not going to look that good because of um i'm just i'm just going to try and spoon like there's already cake in the the icing so we're just gonna we're just gonna do this because this way at least it stays on the stick which is going to help it be eatable and we're just going to like attack it with sprinkles and that's going to make everything okay <sighs> this is the goofiest thing all right. The first three look really good. <laughs> I'm just going to take a picture of those ones for Twitter and be like, yo, we made the best cake pops ever. Also, you're leaning the wrong way, bro. There we go. <laughs> I feel like this one could probably dip. Dip. Nope, nope, nope. Doom. Bad mistake. Whoops. Didn't mean to. <laughs> it's not the dream. <laughs> I have just like a graveyard of like cake mixed with candy. All right, we're just gonna give them hats now because we're kind of running out of the stuff. So we're just gonna give them candy hats. Cake ball, candy hat. We'll add on some sprinkles. Candy hat, candy hat. <laughs> it's all got cake mixed into it. There is no saving this. There is no saving this. <laughs> All right, well, learned a valuable lesson today. I don't know what the lesson was. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, no. But I feel like we probably learned something. I think the lesson is don't do cake pops. <laughs> this is not my calling in life. Oh, no, no. That wasn't any better. Not any better. Well. It still tastes good. That's true. Mm, delicious. We did it. Mmm. <laughs> also, this hardens like really quickly, so there's not gonna be any sprinkles sticking on that. Like, I feel like I'm gonna open up the sprinkles thing. You have another job besides YouTube. Are you asking that just because I completely ruined a bunch of cake pops over here? Um, no, this is all I do. I do this full time. One thing I miss about Canada, I must be able to go out in the wilderness and know there isn't a single human being. There's still lots of really great hiking out here, but I definitely know what you're talking about. Alright. Oh no, I'm getting I'm getting sprinkles all over the floor. Alright, I think I have to give up on the sprinkles. What about the white chocolate? What this stuff? This is still like liquid enough that I might be able to like do a little drizzle. Drizzle? Not quite, not quite drizzle. Glob? <laughs> this is gonna be the ugliest, delicious thing that I've ever made before. <laughs> I never said we were good at this. Okay. All right. Oh, and then I can put the sprinkles in the white chocolate. That's a good idea. Yeah, there we go. Yep. That being said, I would still eat them, right? Three cake pops and several cake nightmares. I'm sure we'll be able to find homes for them in people's mouths. All right. Oh, no, not quite. There we go. <laughs> I don't want to move it because more of them are going to break. Here, can I move the camera at all? I don't need to put it back properly. Stick your cake monstrosities in the leftover cake with some frosting color art. Oh my god, I should do that. I should do that. See, that's what we did. <laughs> We did it, guys. Oh, man. All right. Well, thanks for coming. 
Um, I'll post I'll post some pictures. It'll be great. Um, I'm gonna put the vod from yesterday's live stream up as soon as I'm done here, and then I'm gonna put this vod up probably tomorrow. So thank you guys so much for showing up, and I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. I'm gonna I'm gonna clean this mess up. <laughs> Bye.